the life, abundance, mm -hmm. and oh, actually having a very good immunity. Straight up, straight yeah, up. Yeah, what straight about up. you? Uh, my, me, I had a wonderful, awesome week. I had a very wonderful week. Okay. We were doing a lot of things. As the as Riot Youth, you know, we never stop. We never stop. We always have a lot of things we're always up to. Tell them. We have this. We are we are we are wrapping up the month of April, and April is going to be wrapped up in a very awesome way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right now, today, today, as we are talking on the twentieth of April, we are having a crusade in. Is it Namayuba? Yeah, it's in Namayuba. Yeah, we're having a crusade. That's where our father is, Pastor Robert Kayanja, and definitely, of course, without forgetting, on behalf of our pastors Robert and Jessica. Kayanja, we want to first of all thank you so much for loving Miracle Center Cathedral and the Robert Kayanja Ministries and also on behalf of our pastors Robert Kayanja Jr. and Marlena Kayanja, Kayanja. we want to thank you so much for loving this ministry. So, Michaela, yes. must give us an update. Wow, give us, well, give well, us something like an update guys, of, of, what's happening, data. of what's happening. Basically, right now we are having our right service. Right, and right. Right now we are, we are the vibe check. Uh huh. And it's only a few days to May. Just and a couple of days. Yeah, just count. <laughs> it's a countdown. Guys, when it's like a countdown. Basically, the whole of May. Yeah. We're gonna to cover party. Right. You get. Tell you kuzikiza. Tell you kuzikiza. Of course. When it's a program, but it's twelve o'clock. Of course, it's going to be amazing. Right, right. Until now, we're gonna be having the holidays. So. Of course, so. Over, if you're a holiday maker and you're there, you're still looking for plots. Makeda, where will we meet? Where will I find you? At Akesha, nothing like no, that. You're going to find me we here. We are going to be here. Here. Yeah, so. Me, Monty, and my friends, yeah? Of course, of course, the whole team of Riot Youth, whole team, yeah. we are always going to be here. Every day and every now and then. Well, let me just give us a few announcements. Very, very wonderful announcements. Um, You know, it's. It's, it's an international ministry. We're not bragging, it's just, it's just facts. So, <laughs> we are going to be having a, one, this, a, 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 wonder, a wonderful, awesome crusade. It's going to be in Berlin, Germany. Sure. That's where our mother is going to be, Pastor Jessica Kayanja. She's going to be in Germany, in Berlin, at a, it's called a Miracle Center Church Berlin. That's where she's going to be. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be from the 27th to the 28th. Of April yeah. this year, so you don't need to really be there and you're like, what's happening in, in Germany? What's going on? It's going to be an a, a wonderful, wonderful uh, one year anniversary, and that's where our mother is going to be True. on the 27th up to the 28th, and of course it's oh my goodness, I want. I don't know. I don't know how excited I can be to say this, but regardless, I have to just say it either way. We are going to be having a wonderful international crusade. True. We are going to be having a wonderful um, international crusade, and it's going to be, it's going to be in Nairobi, Kenya, wow. and our pastor is going to be there. He's going to be ministering. Pastor Rod Kayanja Jr. is going to be there. He's 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 ready to give off whatever. God is blessing on his heart. Sure. And of course, we had a change in location. We had a change in venue. You can also see all the information you need to see on your screen. Um, that's the information. We're going to be running from 24th. This month still, 24th up to the 28th. Um, uh, the location is going to be Mombasa Road Sanctuary near Mantrak. <laughs> Anyway, Nairobi, Kenya. Yeah, Nairobi, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So the theme of this of this wonderful um, international conference is going to be catalyzing destiny. So you don't need to miss out. You don't need to miss out on this wonderful. You don't need to miss out on this wonderful crusade. Yeah. Uh, sorry, uh, conference, right? Conference, yeah, conference. Yes. So, Michaela, yeah. tell us, give us, give us, give us a hint on our on our May on our yeah, May events. How it's going to be? I'm repeating this again. May, mm -hmm. it's going to be an amazing month. Mm -hmm. If you really want to be blessed, just watch the dates on the calendar. Yeah. Just watch these dates and mm -hmm. mark them. Because uh -huh. your lives are not going to remain the same way. We are having the Riot Fest. Mm -hmm. We are having the Riot Fest, guys. Yeah, that's it's going, going to, to be, be on an the amazing. Yeah. It's going to be an amazing day. I don't want you guys to say that we didn't communicate to you. We've actually said this in advance that you would that you should mm. You didn't we have feel me. a lot of stock right. for you. Right, right. A lot right. in stock for you, basically, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And um, on 4th May, it's yeah. going to be our Riot Youth meet, meet and Greet. Mm -hmm. 
you want to meet me, you want to meet our dear pastors, Robert Jr. and Malena Kayanja, please, on 4th May, come around. You want to share a talk with them? Do you have any issues bothering you or you have a testimony or you have you need some dream interpretation mm. you will be helped and on 11th we are having the riot fest, fest. right riot exactly guys please don't miss because we are having a lot of games mm. we shall be actually having some of our artists that um Went through the auditions. Right, right. But yeah, but the upcoming giving, artists. Yeah, the upcoming artists. And you. then on uh, 18th, yeah. Riot Worship Night. Yep. <laughs> Guys, it's going to be fabulous. You it's want to be, be blessed? Amazing. It's going to be amazing. Yes. And then on the. Uh, the yeah, on 25th. On, yeah. To school and continue. It's going to be amazing. Exactly at 12 p.m. That's when we're going to be kicking off. So that's 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 a whole May calendar. That's the, what you're seeing on your screen. That's the whole literally prog uh, program lineup that we're going to be having. So mark your calendars and endeavor to show up and also bring a friend. And also, without all being said, we are on social media. We are on all different social media platforms. Sure. We are on uh, on Instagram. I don't know why Facebook always keeps on coming in my head. We are on Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. Yeah, so you hey. see, you see the QR code on your screen, where where the word is connected with us yep. and the wonderful color purple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you can just simply use your smartphone. <laughs> you can just simply use your smartphone to scan that code just right and uh, just right on your screen. The moment you scan that code, it just directs you to all our social media platforms. That's YouTube, that's uh, Instagram, that's TikTok. On all the social media platforms you may think of, we are there. And of course, can we talk about um, one of the most amazing platforms I always recommend ladies to? Hey. Ladies, I can cover Chala only for ladies. Uh -huh. Only for ladies, we have the She Is she podca is. podcast, right? yeah. and it's and this program is being organized by our dearly, yeah, Pastor Malena Junior. Sorry, Pastor Malena Kayanja. I hear you. And it's mainly for women. Mm -hmm. yeah. Teenagers. Empowering. Empowering. Are, are you a young, young adult and you're a youth? Yeah. This program is going to empower you fully. Are you having issues out there? You failed to meet the right people to talk to? Yeah. Please, just look out for these platforms. On IG, it's uh, she, she is it's, it's, podcast. It's she is dot pod. Yeah, sorry. She is yeah, dot pod. pod. She is pod. And then on her YouTube channel, it's yeah. uh, Pastor Malena, Malena Kayanja. Huh? Trust me, your life is not going to remain the same way. Right. You will be empowered. Right. You will be encouraged. Mm -hmm your life will be totally changed because yeah. you will be actually talking to the right people exactly you know that exactly. are spirit filled and they'll be capable of telling you what you're supposed to do that's right yeah. that's right of course of course it has been a wonderful season we've been doing school tours here and there eh. Eh, man the last the last the last school tour we had we were at uh, chitante this is the most recent one we were with them at the school uh, assembly and uh, our pastor was definitely there pastor robert kanja jr was there with uh, with the wife malena kayanja oh my goodness it happened yesterday right yesterday was friday, it was friday. Yeah, i think it happened yesterday very early in the morning True. all i can say is uh, our media team will be showing you what happened at Chitant in a very very short it was while so amazing. and of course we were in different schools we've visited Luberi SS. we've been at uh, at uh, St. Mbuga Vocational Mbuga. Institute, we've been at Buganda St. Royal, we've been at have we, we've been at St. Lawrence, we've been at St. Lawrence. I'm forget we we have lo like numbers of schools that we've visited, and all this is made possible because of your generosity. All this is possible because of your giving. So we want to just take this opportunity as a ministry, as Riot Youth, to say thank you so much for supporting this ministry. Thank you so much for giving towards all the projects that are always ongoing, the school tours that we are doing, the giveaways. There was one wonderful giveaway that we did at St. Mboga. Oh my goodness, these kids were really, really blessed. So all this is really made possible by your generosity and by your giving. So thank you so much for giving towards this ministry and thank you so much for supporting the work of God. Um, there was someone who was saying, do, do, do also youth people, 
do they also send in their seat for Karamoja? And yeah. I say, unless you don't want to be part of the billionaires that are being in the I making. Know, right? But if you want to be part of the millionaires, the millionaires club that we are starting, just so you're sitting in Karamoja, you will see God doing amazing things. And of course, in different things. Yeah. yeah. So anyways, uh -huh, as you can see on your screen, that's what happened in St. Mboga, who are there we are at, uh, on their conference. Their conference. It was a Thanksgiving. It was amazing. As you can see, our pastor was there. He shared the word, interacted with his kids. We had amazing worship. It was just so amazing. It was really phenomenal. Yeah, so um, we went to God Cares. God Cares was also an awesome, awesome meeting. God moved the Holy Spirit ministered to his people. Oh my goodness, it was really, really amazing. It was so amazing. So, uh, as we are having the holidays, you can just, as we have told you, you can just keep on going onto our social media platforms. Comment your school, write your school in just the comment section. We can always come through and always minister as prior to you. Yep. So, anywho, today, I also want to remind you that we have some new music. Yeah. Yeah, we have some new music. We have some new music going on. Um, um, we have a YouTube, we have a YouTube channel. Uh, we have different worship. Uh, in case you're looking for it, it's just Riot Worship. You can just simply go onto your YouTube, type in Riot Worship, and you can always be able to access all this wonderful music that we have. We have a new song by our own pastor, Pastor, pastor Naksa, uh, featuring Kelly. Kelly. The song is called Running Run to you. Run to You. Run to You. It's an amazing song. It's an amazing tune. Let me say tune. Yes, it's an amazing tune. <laughs> so you don't need you don't need to miss out on this song. You can just go onto your YouTube as you can see it on your screen. Yeah. Go onto your YouTube, type in Run, Run to, to you, you, and you'll be able to get that. So, so, and also not forgetting, we also have music on different. Uh, music oh, platforms yeah. like apple music um spotify, spotify. is it Tido? Tido. yeah different <laughs> music platforms as you can see them on your screen yes. we have our music there and it's all free of charge sure. it's all free of charge yep so um with all that being said yes. i wanted us of course you know how we always do the vibe check i know, we know how we the First, first, give up a shout out to all the people out there who need to show up. Guys, if you haven't showed up, service actually has started. Yeah. Riot Field service live. has started. Yeah. They first watch us live, then they will come through. Right. Don't miss out your right. blessing today. Right. It's going to be an amazing service. You're going to be blessed. Mm. Okay, people are going to be giving testimonies today. Yeah. Recently, I listened to people's testimonies. Last Saturday, I was amazed. You know, but Have a testimony and a great testimony uh, to trouble, give. Travel, travel. Yeah. Well, it's just always a good time when we are here at church, and I want to really emphasize our May calendar. Yeah. People, you know, we Ababuka, sometimes you can be there and you're like, I don't have money to go here. I don't have outfits to do this. I don't have to do this. But let me actually just request our media team to just put that calendar one more time on your screen. It's it's the most updated calendar that we're having. And all those dates that you're seeing on your screen are officially confirmed. True. So for the for for, for I don't I'm not going to get tired of mentioning this because we are done with April. We are done with April. We're having an international conference. We're having a crusade in Berlin. We are having a lot of things going on. So, May 4th, mark your calendar. May 4th is going to be Riot Youth Meet and Greet. We're going to be starting at exactly 3 p.m. And May 11th, it's going to be the Riot Fest. It's Riot Fest. If you've ever been at a festival, you know what I'm talking yeah. about. If you're trying to a decay your moon, see we've ever been there, we know what a festival is. So this is going to be in a Christian way, it's going to be in a riot way, it's going to be in a fabulous way. True. It's going to be on 11th May at exactly 12 p.m. That's when we're going to be kicking off. And of course, on 18th, it's going to be a riot worship night. Yeah. It's going to be a riot worship night. If you want to come, we are not going to be streaming this. It's going to be live. live. 
We are going to be here at church. If you want to be part of this, just show up. Everything we are doing is free of charge. Nothing like charges or fees that you need to pay. You just need to avail yourself. And of course, on the 25th of May, we are going to be having our back to school anointing service at exactly 12 p.m. So you're back there. You've been in the holidays and you're like, oh, I even didn't perform well. Uh, over something is not right. You're, you're worried. You're scared. Many fees. <laughs> Show up on the 25th of May and we are going to be anointing you. It's, right? it's going to be specifically back to school, back to school. Anointing, anointing service. service. So mark those calendars. The dates are 4th, 11th, 18th and 25th. All those days are going to be packed and filled with events just for you as Riot Youth. Yeah. We have prepared that for you. So please, 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 Michaela, say one word, please. Banang. Please show up. Guys, show you up. Won't, you won't miss, you, you, you will be more than actually You'll blessed. Be blessed. You'll be more than blessed, of course. So let's run through a small ad and then we are going to be back with something more than you can think. It's Down been the vibe check and of course it's been Monty woo woo. and Michaela. God bless you. we we'll see you in the service. Make your way to church. Of course, we had one more thing, and it was a trick to bring it last. That's our Bible wonderful trivia. With our wonderful, you come closer. Hmm. It's like I have what do they call them? Like thorns. How are you? Fine. Praise are you? God. Praise Him. I'm happy to see you. Happy to see you too. What are your names? I'm Nakaoka Gift Queen. Gift Queen. Can Thank you for coming. Crazy. Thank you for coming to Iyo Truth. Thanks, meeting you. We are going to be doing a very small Bible trivia. You've ever heard about it of, yeah. of a Bible trivia? Yeah, it's just something so simple, something so small that we are going to do to prove to people that, by the way, you women read your Bibles, right? Exactly. So we make do. sure I don't disappoint everyone looking at you on that screen. But anyways, it's not really something serious. I don't want to make it so hard. It's uh, We're going to just have five questions. Okay. And uh, you'll give me the right answer. You give me the right answers, I'll give you something. As a gift, not to me personally, but for, of course from our pastors, Robert Kayanja Jr. and Malena Kayanja, right? Okay. So, number one question. What did Jacob give Joseph that sparkled, that actually sparked jealousy from his siblings? Sorry? What did Jacob give Joseph that sparked jealousy from his siblings? The church is full of people that might be giving you answers. Uh-huh. A court. Which court? You have a hint. You have a clue. <laughs> you have a hint. A court. Eh? Now you 
going to I'm going to now give you six questions but anyways it was a coat of many colors you had a hint <laughs> um, question number two yeah what did Joseph tell his brothers about his dream that upset them Sorry? what did Joseph tell his brothers about his dream that upset them Joseph dreamt right mm -hmm. you know about that so what was that dream that he dreamt and he told the brothers and they got upset? I'd have chosen the easiest. Yeah. Hmm? Mm, you're really taking it too hard. <laughs> but you people you always tell me you read your Bibles. Okay, the answer was the dream. The dream was, he said he was going to become great and rule over them. He said he was going to become great yes. and rule over them. Yes, that was the dream. Yeah? Okay. Uh-huh. Okay, um, let me make it now a bit more easier. Yes? How many days and nights did it rain when Noah was on the ark? Pardon? How many days and nights did it rain when Noah was on the ark? It's like I'm hearing someone whispering an answer to you. Where is the Holy Spirit? Maybe it's the Holy Spirit. Anyway, um, first part of the question. <laughs> I ask again. Mm. How many days and nights did it rain when Noah was on the ark? Angel. Uh, seven. Seven? No, <laughs> I don't. <laughs> A fortnight. Huh? Huh? A fortnight. Those are 14, no. I'll give you one more last, last chance. It was 40. Gotcha. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. But how many questions now have you won so far? None. None. Let me make it more easy. Because today you have to win, by the way, by fire, by force. Uh-huh. <laughs> Who were the three sons? Who were the three sons of Adam and Eve listed in the Bible? There were three. So who? Angel, if this one fails, if this one fails, <laughs> tell me. Three. Let me give a pass. Eh? Actually, let me just give her a pass. Who? Who is that? Okay. Let me have one more person to hit this trivia in just two minutes and we'll push on to some. Come, 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 come. So, hi. Hi. How are you? I'm well, thank you. I'm Monty. I'm Jita. Jita. Good to see you. Welcome on the Vibe Check. Thank you. It's Riot Youth, you know what it do. Mm -hmm. Of course. So, seems you're the most clever. Huh? Let's do some trivia here. Right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you five questions. We do this in two minutes. Five questions. You give me the answers. You get the prize. Okay. Uh huh. How did Moses' mother save him from the Egyptian soldiers? He put, uh, she put him in a basket on River Nile. Eh? Are you a pastor? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. All right. That's that's one correct. Uh huh. Question number two. Through what did God speak to Moses in the desert? The burning in the desert? Yeah. Was in the mountain. In the mountain. Now let me repeat the question. Through what did God speak to Moses in the desert? You had the answer. We are going for we are going for, for serious. 
catch. All right, all right. Yeah, the correct, bush. correct, correct. <laughs> correct. Okay, question number three. What did Moses say? God commanded the... the uh, what, did God, what did Moses say God commanded Pharaoh to do? To let his people go. All right. How many of those? Three. Three? Awesome. All right, question number four. How many plagues did God send on Egypt? There were seven... Uh, not really. Uh, Apostle is counting. <laughs> okay, uh huh. I don't remember that. Ten. One. There were ten. There were ten. Yeah. They were, they were ten. ten. They are. There were ten plagues. All right. So let's go to question number five. What was what was the final plague that com- convinced Pharaoh to let the slaves go? Uh, the plague of death. Oh. Death of the firstborn. Right, 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 right. Okay, you got that. So, what price should we give you? You already have it in your hands. Yeah. <laughs> okay, give me five. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome. It's always Thank a wonderful too. time. It's always why the reason as to why we do this is always to encourage you guys to read your Bibles. She has really amazed me. She knows everything literally that I asked. And of course, a lot of people read, but you have to get to the detail and really understand the word personally and know it. So with all that being said, let's go straight to the main thing of this whole thing. Of course, you know, it's Riot Youth and I've been Marvin. God bless you. We love you. See ya. We're not stress, eh? Heavy boozo, right? Exams, eh? Some of you, you're from your workplace. Some of you are just tuning in right now. But right now, I just want you to just shake off, shake off whatever it is, okay? Just shake off whatever it is. Are you ready? On the count of three, I want you to shake it off, okay? One, two, three, just shake. Huh? I want you to meet five people, okay? Five people from all over the place. Just say hi to five different people. Not the people you came with, okay? Let's do that quickly. Let's do that quickly. I want to see people this side, move this side, and this side, move this side. I want you to greet five people. Tell them, welcome to the house of God. Welcome to the presence of God. You are highly, highly, highly welcome. Hello. How are you? To see, I like your dress. You're very smart. I like your smile. Eh? You're welcome, guys. You're welcome. I said five people. Okay, now let's do five more. Five more this side. I want to see this side coming this way. Eh, you didn't come here to just sit. You came here to, to, make, to make friends. Okay, I want you to meet people. I want you to build community, okay? Just say hi to them. How are you? I like your trip. Eh? I like your trip. Checho, checho. Uh-huh. Welcome to the house of God. Those of you watching us by television, you are also welcome. A high five, virtual high five, wherever you are. A big one, uh. Another one, uh. 
for your auntie uh, and your uncle. Uh. Welcome to the Riot Youth Service. Tell them you're welcome to the Riot Youth Service. Today we are gonna be, we are gonna be blessed. Okay? Okay? Hey, are you done? Are you done? Are you satisfied? You are satisfied. So you don't need to eat, eh? <laughs> I'm joking. DJ, level. Now listen. I want to just prepare you for what's about to happen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Today, today, I don't care where you're from. I don't care what distractions you have. But today, you are living here more blessed, more anointed, richer, wiser, Mugambe, Mugambe, hey. Now, a few ground rules, okay? A few ground rules. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Wabatu wa ina vibe. Ndabulanga buchi ali. Hey, gabuchi ali nzile walala. Hey, but I need you to be, you know, I want you to have vibe, okay? Hey, I want you to have vibe. Hey, sebo. Jagalo wele ne vibe. Hey, hey, we na vibe. Uh-huh. Now, listen. You may be seated for a while, just a few minutes. Just a few minutes. You may sit here. Now, listen. Watch over your stuff when you're here, okay? As we praise, as we have fun, as we do all these things, please be careful with your property. Don't just leave it anyhow. Some of you, if you want to go... Um, to the washroom, you want to go catch some fresh air, please let someone know that, hey, I'm coming back. Please watch over my property. Or, better still, we have people, the Dream Team guys, every, anyone you see with the lanyard, okay? Hey, that orange tag, it's a very bright orange tag. Just let them know, hey, please keep my property for me, and I'll be back. Amen. Amen. Also, if you're watching us by television, for you, you might not leave your property, but you might need a notebook and a pen, okay? Pastor Robert Jr. has prepared a, a proper anointed ministration just for you. Amen. Courtesy of the Holy Spirit. So do not miss it. Some of you just sit and you just watch. I advise you to take notes. Amen. Hey, and next time, if you forgot your notebook or your notepad, saga webuza kusim. Notebook, notepad, okay? Next time, please carry it. Amen. Now, if there are here, if there are people here who would love, how many of you want to serve God? You want to serve God, eh? Hey, now, listen. We want you to be a part of our volunteers team, okay? It's called the Dream Team, right? You can make your way to the table and register. Or anyone that you see with the tags, just tell them, hey, I want to be part of you guys. I want to serve with you. You tell them what you want to do, whether singing, whether some of you want to preach. Yeah? Some of you are called to preach the gospel in universities. How many of you want to preach the gospel at university? Uh -huh. So you register, okay? Let them know. Then they'll give you the program and everything else. Amen. Someone say it pays to serve God. Gamba, it pays to serve God. Amen. How many of you are excited for today? I don't see the excitement. I want to feel the excitement. How many of you are excited for today? Aha, vibe well you are. Aveno si manche muliko na ye. Eh? Guys, anyway, without any further ado, I want us to put our hands together for the Dance Fellowship Nation with a powerful ministration. Omugola ingi deo.
God. Hallelujah. Praise God, guys. Praise God. You're going to feed on my energy. You're going to feed on my energy. Well, we are so happy to have you here today. Definitely, we You're are. So welcome to Riot Youth. Happy Can I hear people. someone shout Riot? Riot! Hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. So, guys, my name is Jocelyn, God's pervert. Uh -huh. I take it God's pervert. I mean, I'm called Mugera Marvin. People call me Mont. Mazima. And I also like it. <laughs> Well, you're so welcome. We are happy. We are happy to see you here yeah. today. Of course, as you know, it's the month of April. We have a lot of things going on. A lot of um, Mikolo. Yeah, celebrations. A lot of things going on. Of course, as you know, Rob Kanja Ministries, we are really, really doing a lot of things. But before we go forward, mm. guys, are there any newcomers today? But then, Jaganati Bagam, on behalf of our pastors. To our Yes. Well, so anyways, on behalf of our pastors Robert and Jessica Kayanja and of course Pastor Robert Kayanja Jr. and Malena Kayanja, we want to welcome each and every one who is here. Welcome yep. to the Mongalo. Katin Jagala and Dabe. It's your first time it's your to first be here time with to us. Be here. Wow. Let's give them a big hand clap. Wow. Let, let, let me see your hands up. Hi. One. Two, three. Can you four. guys come forward? Wow. Please. I want to know you comfortable. Are you comfortable where you seated our visitors? <laughs> I, if you're not, if you're not comfortable, you come to the front. I'll oh my take guys, one person come. in the back. Grab your neighbor and come, please. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Two, 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 Anyone with a testimony. I want us to first testify. Just the Nero Boy are so no over Julie's. Come at Ina Chakorida. What would Julie Zig with? Praise God. She's testifying. Can I have anyone with a testimony? Temuins, Akubanga, Temuina, with Julie's. That's a lot. I know testimony. Let me just have five people. Five people. Five guys. Guys. When God has done something great for your life. Only five people. And by the way, when the five are done, Okay. Now we have we have our five people here. So praise God. Jocelyn. Me, I want to thank God for my life, first of all. Amen. I want to thank God that I'm alive because Amen. a lot has happened with, you know, this past week, but mm -hmm. I'm grateful. I overmoved, but God has blessed me. Amen. Yeah, and I want to thank God for the favor that he has put on my life. Glory to God. So, aha. Uh -huh. Everyone, your name, your testimony. One, One minute. minute. Praise God. Amen. My name is Mera Bora. Okay. I thank God for my life, and okay. I thank God for my studies, that all my tuition was completed. Amen. I give glory to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello. Praise God. Amen. Um, my name is Chantal. Um, I thank God for my life as always. I thank him so much for giving me a great family, me and my family. We're so happy. I thank God for that, and I thank God that... Yesterday, one of my friends got married to a white man. Hallelujah! Mazima. <laughs> okay. And uh, I pray that they stay together forever and ever. Amen. 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 
Oh, Mama, no. I'm going to show you one of my friends. You just touch them, they get the anointing of white. <laughs> Amen. Uh huh. Oh no, this this is his first time here. Hey, who? This one. Yes. Come on, guys. Yeah, I want a hug. Hello, how are you? <laughs> I may become rich like you. Tell Where us, tell that? us, testify. Amen. I'm by name of Alinda Rodney. Okay. I come from Chiwatule. Okay. And yes, I think God, because uh, my parents have been separate mm. but i thank god for the unity among us and my brothers because we've had wrongs as a family but we are fine and i'm doing medicine right now Woo! amen hallelujah glory to god god bless you man Come here. praise the lord amen my name is bukenya philemon yeah my testimony might take more than one minute hey. yeah let's compress it I will try. And we took one minute and 30 seconds. The Holy Spirit will guide me. Anyway, um, I'm a catcher here. I want to tell you people that it pays to serve God. Amen. Pastor Naksa has just said it here. It pays to serve God. Amen. It wasn't easy. I remember when I was in, in my high school, senior four to senior six, my parents didn't have fees. I remember miraculously I studied from senior, from senior five First term to senior six, I did my UNEB, my USCE, without paying fees. Yet I wasn't the brightest in class that I was getting bursaries. Amen. So the God of this place can literally soften the hearts of, of the administrators at school and they don't chase you. When others are being chased for fees, for you remain studying. Chetofo. Chetofo. So, as if that wasn't enough, that is when I'm finally I joined the catchers department, and really it's a blessing to be part of the to be part to be serving here in this ministry. Amen. I remember, remember I was having that date, and you know in schools here when you have that date, they can't give you a pass slip for you to join university. So I was serving here as a young man. The way you see me, I come, I serve, I catch people, I go home. And that is the only thing I do. And miraculously, tell your neighbor miraculously. Miraculously. Uh, tell your neighbor miraculously. Miraculously. God touched the heart of the head teacher at that school that I won't mention for confidential issues. Eh? Yes, sir. And the man, when my parent went there to plead, when my mom went there to plead to the man to accept and give me my past sleep, remember from senior four to senior six, I hadn't paid fees. So you can imagine that date. It was about eight million. Yeah, that was the date. The headmaster said, I cannot hold this man's blessings anymore. Wow. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You may not know what that means, but that man is a Catholic. I'm a born again. Wow. You get me. The only thing I do, I serve here. He's a Catholic. He was like, I can't hold that man's blessings again. Here is the past sleep. In fact, since he was supposed to have joined with his friends and he has lost time, he connected me to the registrar at Makere University. Right now, as I speak, I'm a student there. Wow, hallelujah. At Makere, I'm even a leader there in my, among my peers. So the God of this place really pays. When you serve Ooh. God, even as I speak now, tuition has already been cleared. I'm set to do my exam, so the youth out there, please serve God. There is God in this place. Thank you very much. Amen. Eh? Testimony. Man has a really testimony. Serve you people, God by the way, I, 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 I want to say it this way. Eh? God is real if you guys don't think like he God. Is. He's very real in that you just serve him by the way and everything is worked upon. Yeah, so if you're just there, just, just know God is real, very real. And he uh, does wonders. Oh my, me, I'm still in shock. <laughs> eh? Wabula <clears throat> mazongo. Wabu juli zikuwe to go in the mazongo. Praise God, Riot Youth. Amen. Yeah, um, I'm called Rachel, and I thank God for life. Trouble. <laughs> hey. The God thanks God hey. for life. Uh -huh. But Rachel, I thank God for life. I yeah. mean, we saw what happened last week. 
man. So, so I know, I know, I know, Kweba Zam Kama for the life that he has given you because yeah. you never know what tomorrow holds for right. you, but you know, we're in the spirit. Anyways, before we go any further, are you guys ready for May? May Who knows what is happening in May? In a VIP. Who knows what's happening in May? Eh? Russia. Anyways, guys, let me tell you what's happening in May. May is... Hmm. Fourth May, you tell me what's happening, I give you money. Huh? What's happening on fourth May? Fourth May. Eh? Take a consent. So can I go ngambe? Take a consent. Guys, I've never got a cent. But then, Monty, so come at his name all. Like I said, send us anger again as if our pack and an anger bang up your church in your Kurunako. But, anyways, May, our upcoming events for May, our pastors Robert Jr. and Malena Jr. Kayanjo. Have prepared something fantastic, fabulous. So, phenomenal. Uh huh. <laughs> Excuse it. Excuse it. Something. But on the 4th of May, guys, we have our riot meet and greet. I don't know if any of you has ever attended our meet and greets, the, the basketball court. Yeah. We always interact with people, talk to them one on one. Our pastors say it on that date. That they are going to be. We are not preaching on that day. Definitely. Meet and greet is the main thing, right? Like Monty Boy. Steady. As I was in Owembabuza, if you know your neighbor's name, go to Zenai. You may find less people actually do, you know. Wanna go in a revelation. So, <laughs> <laughs> meet and greet, that's why we are going to be having So meet and greet. You just sit just... with people and you don't know their names. Yes. Muja, every Saturday you don't know your neighbor's name. Chokate, you pray with them. Nebakubuza, who is that? So guys, meet and greet on 4th of May. Yeah. Come through. Mark your calendars. On the 11th of May, to in a riot festival. If I talk, we're not going to go to Mungaloga. I'm 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 going to go so guys, the festival, as you guys have ever attended any festival, if you have never come yeah. through our church, Morocco Center, by the way, we are going to be having a lot Riot of activities. Riot Fest, we're going to have games. Yeah, games, activities. By the way, may you never decide what you were made. I was passing through the corridors there. Someone was saying, so guys, you have different kinds of games that be in a festival. Yeah, don't, don't serve before it's Yes, ready. so guys, mark your calendars. On the 11th of May, we have a riot festival come yep. through. Yep. On the 18th of May, to in a riot worship night. To get a scene. By the way, Abanda Baku TV on that day, we're not airing anything. We are not anything. streaming nothing. So we ain't streaming. So you guys need to be in this place. So yeah, that you feel it, like entrance. It's all free Tawali. of charge. Totukali ne baga ambesa suretano. This is the the first riot festival free of charge. No cover charges. Hallelujah. When is that? On the 18th, the Riot Worship Night. Come through. We worship. Mark your calendar. We have new songs from our you know Riot Worship. Yeah. We have. Now again, the more additions. There's some guys going to come and sing. So guys, come through for the riot worship night. Tobango gamba timu yaba shiba baba yimba modition. Ena gamba fe kacha. Kale to get him so. Uh huh. On the 25th of May, guys, we have um a back to school anointing. Service. That day, whoever is going, because I know some people will be going back to school on Sunday. Come through to church. We have prayers. We have anointing. Oh, plus we have baptism for those guys that weren't able to. Ba 
to get baptized um, yeah. last trial conference. Mm -hmm. So come through, we pray for you as you're going back to school. Second term is not an easy term, yeah. but you guys can come, you get anointed. Okay, next to Melongo, yes, mm -hmm. Mukama. He's Bravo. going to do wonders in my life. Not only in studies, but you know, in your social life at school. So guys, mark your calendars. The 4th of May, we have meet and greet. 11th of May, we have Riot Fest. 18th, we have uh, Riot Worship Night. And the 25th, we have the Back to School. Program, just make your clothes. Guys, mark your calendars. Abali kusomelonga, there are your friends come through with... Don't, don't, take, don't partake in the blessing alone. Come with a friend. Come with friends. Come with your family. Just come and we have fun in the Lord. Yeah. By the way, you people, how many of you here today brought a friend? How many of you brought a friend? You brought a friend. Who? Now you didn't bring her for the Bible trivia. <laughs> so yeah, guys, make sure that you never come to church. I always, I always, me, I always encourage you. Me, Jocelyn is my friend. Mm. And if we go to heaven up there. I want, I will build, like, hey, Josie, you know, in Akaoka Wi Fi, give me some Wi Fi because she's my friend. But church is always fun when you're with your friends in church. Yeah, I'm telling you. You had the car, the car, roar because ka they are what? friends, the car, roar. Oh, it's you. Wow. <laughs> because they are friends and they are in one place. So church is always fun. I, yeah, don't come alone. When you come alone, you get to Don't bored. be like, let me go there and. You'll, 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 you'll feel like things are not happening. But yeah. whenever you bring a friend, not it's even bring, whenever you come with a friend, a even friend. if it means walking, you can always walk together yeah. in unity. And there's a blessing for you, definitely. Yes. It's the greatest gift you can always give. Exactly. Yeah. So, guys, let me hope you have marked all those days on your calendars. I want you guys to invite more than two friends, more than five friends to come through for our May program throughout but you holiday maker. Saga la ten bum manya Saturday no see now again da manya te wati transport. Mukama again we call her. Sure. Definitely. Hallelujah. So guys come through this May. The whole of this May. Ha <laughs> Monty boy. Yeah, tell me what's up. at least nalabye ko ku mami wange waneno kwesinza gamba atu ayimuke mangu mangu naye wali wono muyaye wange mukabye you stand up because i must say go go guluma anyway we have we have rolex chills when we are done with service seems you're hungry let's all put our hands together for the one and for the only. one and only youth pastor pastor no Listen, how many of you this is your first time here? Your first time, eh? First time visitors, wave at me, just wave. Smile call, wave and smile. Uh -huh. Okay, first time visitors here, wave call. Uh -huh. You're welcome. You people look so nice. Now, what we are going to do, okay? Turn to that neighbor of yours, first time neighbor. Ochukita bwe nagami njagala vibe. Kakati ene sawa. Now is the time. Eh? Now is the time. My friend, you're dressed, you're very smart. Eh? I'm the smartest. Eh, now I want you to be to dance smarter than me, okay? How many of you are ready to vibe for Jesus? I want us to dance. I want you to give yourself space. Tell your neighbor, give me space. I want you to get space, get space, get space, get space. Now, as we start, 
On the 5th of May, someone say the 5th of May, we are having the good mood, good mood hangout, okay? I have some tickets. Last time there are people who are saying, man, me, I was vibing, but you didn't give me a ticket. I'm going to be seeing you, okay? If you have very, 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 very much vibe, eh? you're getting yourself a free ticket. Eh? So are you ready? Are you ready? Let me up TFN. TFN, let's go. Hey, hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Hands up. Everybody, let me see your hands up. Hands up. Everybody. Hey, hey. I need to. Hey, 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 hey. Are you ready? Tell your neighbor. Someone speaking to say. Okay. Listen, listen. Tell your neighbor, neighbor. Call me crazy. I'm insane. King of glory. On my brain. I see a dark sky. Think it might rain. Poor blessing. Poor blessing. DJ, let's go. Hey, hey. Are you ready? 21C. Hey, hey. On the count of three. One. Let me see you go, go crazy. I'm insane. King of glory. On my brain, I see a dark sky. Dick in my brain. Poor blessing. Poor blessing. To number. Side of situations that would never seem to change. Have my back upon a wall for quite a while. I won't forget the time. Sway, 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 sway. One, two, three, hey. Way. Let's go. Hey, let me see you just. Mind and I'm pushing. Cause I'm pushing for a change. Talking about the letter. Hey, 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 hey. Let it rain. I'm talking about the. Hey, hey. Are you ready? Together. Together. One, two, three. Come in. I'm in. King of glory. On my brain. I see a dark sky. Poor blessing, poor blessing, call me crazy. I'm insane, king of glory. Oh my, see a dark sky. Hey, 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 hey. Someone say Jaira. Hey, 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 let's go, let's go. 
go! Let's go! Hey! There, that's breath! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Let every breath! There, that's breath! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Hey! Take a look at the Let's go, eh? Hey. Check you. 
over here. Tegala, vibe, 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 vibe. Would you like a ticket? Would you like a ticket for the good mood? Ona mukwa no bo. Hey, hey, 
DJ, let's go! Hey, hands up! Hey! Sinamo! Hey, hey! Hey! To Imba! Yagara Daba Manyaka Imba! Hey! Hey! I'm a 
Close up the 5th of May, Gatano May. We're going to be at Motive Bugolovi. If you, have, if you have a ticket, make sure you're there, okay? It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be jam packed. If you haven't got your ticket, you need to buy one. Alibad is 15 20k at the gate, okay? Let's welcome Josie. Hey, hey, Josie, 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 hey, hey, two, five, hey. Six, hey. Big flex, big God. Uh-huh. Big flex, big God. Other of my life, Mama. Big flex, big God. Sava Mari Gada. Big flex, big God. Other of my life, Mama. Hey! It won't get done there. Yes! Now, booty won't move. Sit on my. First and it's a booty, you know, baby. Yeah, yeah. 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 Big flex. Praise God, guys. I am back with another hit. Praise God. Who is ready to play some games? Who is ready to play some games? Anya Mani Okuria. Mbuza. <laughs> Kale, I'm going to need two boys and two girls. Okay, boys. Do you know a game called Rock, Paper, and Scissor? You know it? You don't seem sure. I Do you know a game called Rock, Paper, and Scissor? Oh, guys, welcome, peace. Thank you, that's the spirit. So guys, do you know a game called Rock, Paper and Scissor? Um, I think first of all you need to explain Rock, a change. This is Rock. Scissor, Makans. This is a paper, this is a scissor, this is a rock. Hey, sorry. Rock, a change, rock. A change, a change, a rock. Pepper or papula? So papula will be that way. This is pepper. Yeah? This, this is pepper. Then this, this is scissor. You know a pair of scissors? Bazita bacha? Makans. Hey. So this is makansi, pepper, rock. Okay, then. Show me rock. So, so now. Show me rock. That was first. Show okay. me rock. <laughs> Duro, aha, uh-huh, rock, pepper, scissor. Scissor. Rock? Rock. Okay. 
Okay, so the game is like this. Eh? So, quite that one. But it's you, no rock, paper, and scissors. Hold for me. So, the game is like this. Eh? I am going to say rock, paper, scissors, shoot. The last of, uh, of the items, the Baba Gambi, you make that sign. You either do a scissor, a rock, or a paper. Are you guys paying attention? So it is rock, paper, whether it's a scissor, whether it's a rock, whether it's a paper. You get? So it's rock, uh -huh. rock paper, scissor, shoot. So, wafuna the scissor, abansala, because I'm a paper. Paper, scissor, makansi, salabulunji, or papula. So if it's a rock and she has a scissor, I can smash the scissor. If it's a paper, and, and she has a, rather, I have a rock and she has a paper, she covers me up. Mugutege domzani. Guys, mugutege. Rock, okay. paper, scissor. Like, rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Try with him. Because I think she gets it. Uh -huh. No, we need to, we need uh, to rush. Uh, so. uh -huh. Ready? Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Tolinda, we know Kubela a Be attentive with the game. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Talk all only one sign. You do different kinds of signs. I'm trying to give you a chance so that you play. So the girls are going to be the first. DJ Genat Kubela Kukasula, our music background. Yeah, the girls and the boys. So, I want Gola Mune in that round. As Galadia, when you turn out on Coco, eh? As Gova Wang would they know could do Kapaka Kadia Kapapu Quecho or a cameraman Wali? So that's why you have to stop where that blue line is. So you come back, you run back, as you play again, you do that. We, we hurry. You get? Are you guys ready? So come and stand here. Face, face each other. So, mm -hmm. are you guys ready? Rock, paper, scissors. Guys, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, okay. rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Mwanguwe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Okay. One, two, three, we go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Guys, follow me. Follow me. Mwanguwe. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Cover and run. Yeah. But now, get come. I'm a you go over there, go on, go. That's what I don't do, call a girl. You covered her. <laughs> okay, one more time. Are, are you now in sync with the game? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Do cut it again. I said, Do car. What my dear and Coco say, and I know which take I look run back. We got Catoms and your good ticket. Bulunji, Todd Dukan got dead yet. So you put it back. A out of our rock purposes a shoot. Rock purposes a shoot. You run. Mukwana go ako diya ke koko. Uh huh. Rock paper scissors shoot. Look her. Oh no, yeah, koko ya just again. Kona. Rock paper scissors shoot. Rock. Shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aha, rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Aduka. Hold on, 
shoot. Raw purpose is a shoot. Are you guys enjoying the game? Who wants to partake? Tell me Koi. Raw purpose is a shoot. Raw purpose is a shoot. Thank you so much. Joe H. Finetro. Chino Chino Nyabo Echo Chisle Oche. Are you guys ready for the game? These ones are just doing one chance. Kale. Adia ya adia. Aha, ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So I'm going to need a boy who understands the rock, paper, and scissor game. I'll go sing all good. Girls! Who you know rock, paper, scissor? So are you guys ready? Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. Rock, paper, scissor, shoot. No, you have to do at the same time, and the sign has to come in at the same time. Watch again. Toyang, what about Linda Munno? Ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh, look, cheating. You first wait for him to do a sign, then you do. That's not fair. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh -huh. It's supposed to come at the same time. You're cheating. Should, should I get another person? I'm good. Linda Muno, you have to do at the same time. Oku Linda, it's cheating. You're waiting for him to do a sign, then you do it. So come. One chance. As you're facing the... I want people to see if you're... Yes. Guys, pay attention to him because he has... So, rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, no. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. To Linda Muno. Watch again. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Uh -uh. You're, you're, cheating. you're cheating, so you keep waiting for him. You wait for him, and it's not fair. So it's okay. It's okay. You, you also play. We need someone who is in sync. I don't want chance. Can I get an arc? We try rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. So these guys understand the game, DJ. Mm -hmm. Are you guys ready? Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Go to car. You go 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 to the angle. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Are you ready? Rock, 
purpose is assured. Wrong purpose is assured. Go on. Wrong purpose is assured. Hurry. Wrong purpose is assured. Purpose is a shoot. Rock purpose is a shoot. Rock purpose is a shoot. Is a shoot. Rogue purpose is a shoot. Rogue purpose is a shoot. Rogue purpose is a shoot. I think we're done. Oh boy, again. <laughs> Hope you guys had fun. Hello family, what's up? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? Come on, give your neighbor a high five. Give your neighbor a high five. Tell them you are in the right place. Come on, can you give can you make a now a noise for Jesus in this place? Let's rise up on our feet. Let's worship him. Let's worship him. Rise up on your feet. You are in the right place at the right time. And God has an appointment with you tonight. Amen. I don't know what you're believing God for. But I want you to open your heart as we are worshiping him. There is nothing impossible for God. Amen? Amen. So, in this moment, can you just lift up your hands? Just lift up your hands to Jesus. And I want you to bless him with your own words. Thank him for being alive. Thank him for the breath in your lungs. Thank him for, for, for making a way for you to be here tonight. Amen. Many people wish to be here, but they couldn't make it. Now, there is somebody watching us at the hospital right now and say, Lord, if you give me another chance, I'll be there. But you've made it to here, this place, this evening. I want you to just open your heart and forget about what you're going through. Just bless him. Bless him at least for the fact that you are still alive. You are breathing. You are strong. You can walk. You can talk. You can see. You can sense anything. Come on. Lift up your hands and lift up your voices and bless his name. Bless his name. Bless his name. Lift up your voices. Come on. Riot worship. Come on. Lift it up. 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 Lift up your voices. Forget about your neighbor. Forget about who's standing next to you. Forget about who you came with. Forget about how you're feeling. Forget about it. Come on. Just open your heart. Open your heart. Open your heart. We worship you, Lord. You alone are worthy, Lord. Yeah. Oh. We worship you, Lord. Oh, Lord. Come on, you can lift up your voices. You can do it better than that. You can lift up your voices. Just fill this room with your worship. Fill this room with your worship. Oh, Lord. Father, we thank you for this moment. We thank you for, for this moment. We thank you for what you are doing right here and right now. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. 
Oh Lord, we worship you. And I will not be silent. I will always worship you. As long as I am breathing, I will always worship you. Lift up your voices, come on. And I will, yes, not be sad. Lift it up louder. I will, Lord. Yes, worship you Woo. as long as, as long as I am breathing. Yes, I will always worship you. Every voice, come on. And I will, and I will, come on, not be sad. Your breath in our lungs, so we pour. So we pour. 
your voices. Say, great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. Lift up your voices in this place. Come on, shall say, Great are you, Lord. Great are you, Lord. You are greater than my situation. I sing, Say, Great are you, Lord. You are greater than the giant I am facing. Say, Great are you, Lord. Oh, yeah. They say these mountains can be moved. Hallelujah. They say these chains will never break. But they don't know you like we do. There is power in your name. Come on, somebody confess this right now. Come on. So much power. In your name, oh Lord, move the immovable, hey! break the unbreakable. God, we believe, God, we believe for it from the impossible. We'll see a miracle. God, we believe, help me force in this place. Come on. God, we come on. Say, move the movable, move the movable. Come on, break the unbreakable. God, we believe. God, we believe. God, we believe. Lift up your voices. Lift up your voices. From the impossible, we will see a miracle. I believe it. Come on. You say it is done. It is done. He spoke it over you. Come on. You say I believe it. 
you said it every word that he spoke over you it is done you said it you said I believe it doesn't matter what they are saying about me what you say is what matters it is done it is done you say you say I believe yeah. I believe you say you say it is done it is lift up your forces you say say I believe we believe and we shout tonight For you 
our God and God alone. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, right with youth, everybody, come on. Now unto the land upon, make it louder, come on. We raise We raise the sound. It's the sound of worship. For you are God, for you are God and God alone. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh yes, hallelujah. One more time. Now unto the Lamb, now unto the Lamb upon the throne. We raise our We raise our song. For you are God, for you are God and God alone. Hallelujah. Lift up your voice, lift up your voices in worship, lift up your voices in worship. Make it louder, 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 make it louder. worship you right now for you are God and God alone hallelujah hallelujah we worship you you alone are worthy Lord you alone are worthy God, praise God. Amen. Before we share the word, there's something I, we had our whole team in the office, um, mainly our team leaders the other day. And um, I told them something that was very, very simple. I know a lot of people who ask questions or think that there is a way you can do something or behave for for something to work in your life and um, I, was, I, was, I was talking to Jesse earlier and I told him of a term I, I, I have and you can't have spiritual OCD and think that's how God moves and you think that's how God works the God we serve is not controlled by man we can't control him we can only request him to do things in our life and whenever we worship whenever you take time to worship in this entire service the reason why our youth department has focused so much on worship is because right now, this entire service, the one part that is for him is worship. The one part of the whole service, the thing that we give God, is when you worship him. The message we preach, that's for you. When we give tithes and offerings, that's to rebuke the devourer for you. When we have community with each other, that's for you. That's for us. The only thing he gets in the whole service is Jesus, we love you. Jesus, we worship you. Thank you for being who you are. That's the part in the service we give to him. Worship isn't a song you sing to be honest, it's just gratitude. It's just being thankful. It's just being thankful. It's the only part of the service that God gets. The rest of everything, even when he shows up, is for you.
So always remember when you worship. It's the one time you get to give something to him. You get to tell him thank you. You may go ahead and be seated. So, throughout the month of May, it's fully packed. We have tons of events for you from May 4th all the way up to the last day of the month where we will be baptizing you, anointing you, praying for you. And um, those of you who are watching and all of you guys who are here, we can't wait to spend that time with you. It's really going to be a blessing. Like I really mean it's going to be blessing. It's going to be powerful. And God is going to move in an instrumental way. So we have a meet and greet on the 4th. And then the following week is Riot Fest. So that's going to be fun. I mean, legitimately going to be fun. So don't miss it. The week after that, we have our worship night, which is our live recording. We will not be going live. So all of you who are watching me right now, live, this won't be there. So you really don't want to miss it. And then the week after that, we'll be baptizing you guys and anointing you before you go back to school. But um, God has been extremely, extremely grateful extremely extremely good and we're so grateful for what he's done in our lives and what he continues to do and how awesome he is we went to a school yesterday uh, early in the morning Chitante and um, my dad told me when I was growing up he said uh, T.L. Osborne used to tell him so my spiritual grandfather was telling my dad, like, everything. He said, Robert, I only need 15 minutes. If you can give me 15 minutes or 10 minutes to preach somewhere, I'll share the gospel. That's all I need. So when they allowed us to go, they were like, hey, there are exams. You have 30 minutes. And I was like, cool, I'm showing up. That's all I need. I only need 30 minutes. And God did incredible things. So I want to thank our team. Eric over there. Hey, man, you're here. So um, they did an incredible job. Eric, Paul, Naxa, everybody. It was absolutely powerful, Marvin. Uh, so it was really, really great. And thank you, guys. You're reaching kids everywhere. You're reaching people in schools. And the gospel is being shared and preached. So we love you and thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Clap for yourselves. Oh. Next time I wear purple too. Um, but my message isn't long and it's not complicated. It's rather simple. And um, it's going to be about focus. There is a... Um, simple verse in the Bible and uh, in this verse it's in Psalms 16 8 I keep my eyes always on the Lord with him at my right hand I will not be shaken how many of you focusing is hard Okay, it's just me. Cool, no problem. You're the one who has, I have a problem focusing on stuff. Cool, no problem. Um, focus is the one thing that it took me a while to understand and a while to really grasp in terms of my spiritual life and just my life in general. And focus is deeply important. So, where's Marvin? Actually, I'll, Actually, no, 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 no. Where's Sachi? Sachi, come here. Come on. I've, I've, me and Sachi have co-preached hundreds of someones at this point. And uh, it's really, 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 really easy. So, I'm going to show you what focus looks like. All right? Really, really simple. 
So, Sachi, I want you to stretch out your hands. Just stretch them out. No, 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 just like, just like this. Yeah, and, and look at me. Okay? I, uh, Jesse, come here for a second. Come hold my mic. Just hold my mic for me. No, no, no. Jesse, Jesse, come hold my mic. Just hold it. Just hold it for me. So, this is what I'm going to tell Sachi what to do. All right? Sachi, you're looking at me. Okay? I'm going to push your hands up. Don't let me push your hands up. Okay? Stop me from pushing your hands up. Okay? Push, push down. Don't let me push your hands up. All right? Sachi is looking at me, and he can control me pushing his hands up. Right? Now, some of you, when we're focusing on something, it's rather easy. When you're focused on God and problems come and your hands are like this, and you're looking at God and things are trying to shift you, you can control them. All right? Now, Sachi, look down. Look down. Stop me. Don't let me go. He can't do it. Do you want to know why? Biomechanically in our lives, do you want to know how it works? You cannot stop something you're not focused on. That's not how it is. His power can't work because Sachi is looking down. It's really, really simple. Look down. Don't let me push it up. Stop it. Sachi, stop the hand. Look at me. Okay? Don't let me push it up. Now he can. Look down. It looks like, th this looks wild. It looks crazy, but that's your life. If your body can't do it, if your body depends on you to see something to focus in order for it to work, it's actually small. Who's, who's really big? Who's a big guy? Hey, a big guy. Hey, a big guy. Eric is a big guy. Oh. No, he's small. He's such a size. All right, Eric, come on. Nobody wants to be up here. This is really simple. Just stretch your hands out. No, no, no. Stretch them forward. Forward. Look at me. I am going to push this hand up. Okay? You're looking at me. He's already prepped himself. Don't let me push it up. Okay? You're looking at me. Go. He's not letting me push it up. Okay? Now look down. You can't. Are you following me? He had control when he was looking at me. The moment he started to look down, he lost control. Let me help you. Same thing. Look at me. Stop my hand. Okay. Look up. No, up. Look up. You don't know what happened? He looked up. His hand took him up. I didn't have to do anything. His whole body went like, Ugh. What I'm trying to say is this. Your focus, your focus is everything. Your focus is every single thing. And a lot of times we think focus is concentrating. You can concentrate and not have focus. You can concentrate. Mm. I've studied, but then in terms of that, as soon as you get out of that situation, you're just everywhere. Everything is bothering you. Everything can distract you. Spiritually, what I'm trying to talk to you about today, that's really, really simple, is keeping your eyes on God, not on anything else. Now, 
in the Bible, there's a very, very simple thing that happens. Someone walks on water. And he has a disciple, he has a friend, who he calls, hey, come join me. So the guy's like, ah, man, I don't know. You're on water and I'm, mm, I don't know. But eventually, he steps out and he begins to walk. Then something happens. Something. It's crazy, it's uncomfortable. They don't understand what's going on, but something happens. The guy begins to sink. Begins to drown. He shouts, help me. Savior, Jesus, help me. Do you know what happened? The guy looked down. He took his focus off of Jesus. He began to look down. Now, when I was growing up, these were my issues of really church and believing. Let me tell them to you. Is that when you came in, you were like, God, I want you to fix all my problems. I have problems on problems on problems. I have so many problems, the only thing that's not a problem is my name. But if you took my name away, I would be a problem too. And most times, we come to God like this. God, I have all these problems. I need you to fix my problems. I have all of them. X, Y, and Z. Everyone in my family is a problem. The grass around our house is a problem. The road is a problem. It's not even a road. It's a pothole. Everything is a problem. I need you to fix it. And then you know what we do? We go home. Like nothing happened. Sunday rolls around, Saturday rolls around, we're back. To ask God. Your focus on something is determined by not just going and asking. Your focus has to genuinely be, like it says in the Bible, my eyes are set on God. He's on my right side. My eyes are focused on him. He's on my right side. Hmm? You, guys aren't, you guys aren't getting me. This is what it looks like. If God is with me, right? But my eyes are focused on him. If Jesus is with me, my eyes are focused on him. All right? Very, very simple. Sachi, walk. If Sachi stops, I stop. If Sachi moves, I move. I'm not doing this, looking at you and then seeing Sachi at the corner of my eye. Your spiritual life, for some of you, looks like this. Such, do whatever you want to do. Because you're trying to follow Jesus here and look straight here. That's why it looks crazy. Seriously. Because how you focus on God is like this. Let me put it in a language you understand. 
Let me, let me paint you a student. Do you remember when you were cheating in class? Hmm? Yeah? Cool. When you were cheating in class, you weren't looking like this. You were looking like this. Like you were knowing the girl is walking there. You know where she's going. You saw every single thing, but you were looking here. That's how your spiritual life is. You're trying to look at God like this. But you're really looking like this, like you can see. Hmm? Yeah? So I want you to try something. Stand up real quick. Stand up, stand up, stand up. You want to know why? Some of you, we know when you, this is the problem. You know when you cheat and you get away with it in class. You believe that method will work everywhere. So you apply it in every part of your life. So are you ready? Okay. Make sure you have some room. Give yourself some space. And give yourself some space. Arms length apart. Okay. Give yourself some space. Good. Now, I want you to start here. Can you see both your hands? I'm sorry to hold my mic. Can you see both your hands? Like this. Right? So I want you to keep going like this. And you can see your hands, right? When you can't see your hands anymore, stop. But you keep looking this way. When you can't see your hands and your fingers wiggling, wiggle them. When you can't see them anymore, stop. Hmm? You can't see them, right? So how can then, can you watch God like that? It's very simple. Right? So where do you stop seeing your hands? You can, no, you can't see, wiggle your fingers. You can't, from here. You can't see them anymore. Okay. Can you see what I'm doing? Huh? So how can that method of focus work in your life? Do you see the problem? You had your eye on him. You didn't have your focus on him. You had a glimpse of him, but you weren't watching and seeing him. Your spiritual life can't be that way. The Bible made it so easy. It made it like this. He's on my right side. I keep my eyes on him. All you have to do is look at him. Some of you are doing this. You try right now. Keep an eye. Look at me, but keep an eye on your friend. The person on your right, you keep an eye on them. Just keep an eye on them. Some of you, your peripheral vision is so bad, you're doing this. No, look straight and keep an eye on them. I can see Sachi right here. But Sachi, take a step back. Take one more. I can't see Sachi. Whatever Sachi is doing, I don't know. Whatever Sachi wants me to do, I don't know. Because I was trying to monitor him like this. Guys, God wants you to look at him. God wants you to look at him. He wants you to look at him. And the scenario is rather simple. It's, it's very easy. It's not complicated. If I'm watching Sachi, whatever Sachi does, I'll do. I'm watching him eventually because I have nothing else to see I'll begin doing what I can only see you're not getting what I'm saying the point of actually watching Jesus has very very little to do with just looking at him it has everything to do with you will eventually become what you watch it's very easy 
But, like, I've, like we, we, have, we all confess today, hmm? we're all cheaters. Me, I cheated in school. I do, what do you mean, wow? I cheated. When I'm dead, God delivered me. I, I, I passed, but anyway. So, so none of you have cheated? Eh? You haven't? You did? I want, I want to find out everyone who's lying. All of you who have, who have cheated, do raise your hand. Me, me, both, both of them. Me as a professional, me, I have known who led the mafia. I'm, I, ran, I ran the mafia, me and another guy. All of you who are not raising you, you are lying. You're lying. I remember, me, I did. I remember those days I didn't study. We showed up, we knew the one guy who studied. I was like, man, you're sitting here. You understand? Yeah, wow, I did it. But the thing was, in God's system, you can't cheat. See, the, the thing about God is you can't cheat. In other words, there's no shortcut to get what you want. There was a shortcut years ago. But there's no shortcut now. Years ago, you could do whatever you wanted. Oh, but you know, man, maybe if I do X, Y, and Z, God talk to me. Maybe if I do X, Y, and Z, I'll be able to grow trees. Maybe if I do this, 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 and this, this will happen. They have all those religions which tried it. With God, you can't. There's no shortcut. Are you ready for the hard truth? Hmm? You ready? All right. You, in the red shirt. All right? I want you to pick up that chair. The one you were sitting on. Pick it up over your head. No, 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 not you. Not you. Don't cheat. Stay right there. Don't move. Stay right there. How many of you have prayed for a chair? I said what I said. Not, mm, how many of you have prayed for a chair? Huh? You've prayed for a chair. You wanted God to give you a chair. You guys aren't understanding what I'm saying. How many of you have prayed for a finished product? A car, a house. A chair is a finished product. Hmm? Huh? Okay, cool. Does God make chairs? God doesn't make chairs. Okay. But you've prayed for a chair. Yes. You prayed for a finished product. Does God make Range Rovers? Okay. But you prayed for a Range Rover. Okay. Okay. I'm just asking. Don't look at me crazy. Like I'm the one blocking your Range Rover miracle. Does God make houses? The chair on his head, God has never made a chair. God made wood, though. God made wood. God doesn't make buildings, but he gave us rocks. He gave us everything where concrete comes from. That was wood. Somebody gave it attention, gave God focus. Then we got a chair. 
The reason why I'm telling you this is very simple. When we come to God, we want that. You want that. You don't want to pray for a chair and then God gives you enough wood to fill this entire church. Some of you would throw that away to get the one chair you asked for. Even now that I'm, I'm saying it, you guys are like, ah, no, Robert, where are you going with someone? First, listen, for four years I've waited for this car. Don't just say God will give me rubber. And met, Rob, the way you're looking at me, it's like, mm-mm. What I'm trying to tell you is very easy and very simple. In order for you to get that, what was brought to the carpenter was not enough chair for the wood. They just brought him wood. He chose what was enough and then fashioned it and then made the chair that that guy is now holding on his head and he's tired. In other words, if you want God to do something in your life. Understand that for some people, he won't give you a chair, he'll give you wood. And the thing about this is where we all get everything wrong because our focus is messed up. I'm telling you this not as a sermon, but because this used to be me. This was where I lost opportunities and missed things. God would show up, God give me this, give me this. And then God gives you enough wood to cover this whole place and you're angry. Because you think God didn't hear you. No, he heard you. He just said, great, now build a better chair. And I've given you enough wood. You can make mistakes. Enough wood that you can build more than just one. But you have to build it. Which means your focus actually has to be on him but our focus is kind of like that i want a chair because i actually don't really want to focus on the task of making the chair you can put it down so there are two things that have to do with focus there are people they've lived their life without really ever focusing on god then the people who have focused on, they've just looked at God. They began to disregard everything else in their life and they began to just say, if God goes here, I'm going to go here. If God goes to this place, I'm going to go to this place. If God does this, I'm going to go there. But I don't think it's the best time. I don't think it's that, no. I've decided to look and focus on God. So wherever he goes, I go. So I'm going to put it this way. And I'm going to ask you a simple question. Based off of focus, would you rather have a room full of wood or one chair? Hmm? None of you are sure. You guys are the most unsure congregation I have ever heard in my life. Uh, I don't know. Teach you. Do you want a room full of wood or do you want a chair? Now listen. There was equipment we were praying for. Seriously. God bring this equipment. God bring this equipment. Do you think God is Sony? Hmm? Do you think God is Sony? No. God heard you. Okay. This is what you need. God brought the money. In most cases in your life, God will just bring you the resources to get what you need. Think of it like this. 
That is the car you want. God gives you more than enough finances to go get the car, not the car. Let me help you. Because still some people want their car. In order for you to make the car useful, it needs fuel. Guys, vehicles do not run on batteries and orange juice. They run on fuel. If people were lying to you, I'm telling you they lied. You need fuel to go from point A to point B. Two, you need a driver's license. Or you will be in jail with the very people who are trying to steal your car. So what does God do? He provides to accommodate the need. But he cannot provide to accommodate the need if you yourself, who wants the need, can't focus. In other words, you ready? Stretch out your hands. Do not let me push your hand down, okay? I'm going to push it down. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. Have I told Eric what I'm going to do? Don't let me push your hand down. No, keep strong. Don't let me push your hand down. Good. Eric, I just want you to look up. Don't let me push it down. Just look up. Don't let me push the hand down. Just look up. Just look up. But don't let me push it down. Be strong. Are you ready? You're ready? Hmm? Mm. Don't let me push it down. Mm. Don't let me push it down. We pray the right one. <laughs> Don't let me push it down. Okay? We're trying the right one. Are you ready? You're good? No. Don't let me... Okay. Be stable. You're looking at me, right? Okay? Good? You found your balance? All right? This way again. Eric is not going to work, but okay. Ready? Guys, you can't ask God to do something in your life and you don't focus on him. You can't do it. There is, let me tell you, let me give you the simple thing. I've heard people with all kinds of prayer requests. I've heard people with all kinds of needs. People have told me everything, that, anything you can imagine, and we've prayed with them for it, but they never focused on God. They never looked at God and said, hey, God, I trust you. God, wherever you go, I'm going to go. And I found out why they don't do it. Naksa, I found out why they don't do it. Do you want to know why? It looks crazy. Let me tell you why. No one wants to look like me. You're still not getting why it looks crazy. You want to know why? Hmm? You want to know why? Let's pretend. Such just go, go stand with Eric. Let's pretend I'm watching Sachi. I look crazy. I look like I'm on drugs. I look like I belong in Butavika. Hmm? I do. That's why you don't want to do it. Because no one sees the God you follow. The reason why you don't want to do it is because nobody is saying, oh, no, he's following Jesus. There's no signpost that says, right, Naksa is following Jesus. No, Naksa is drunk from Monday to Sunday. He's doing things that don't make sense. Because the things you're seeing me follow, you can't see them. It doesn't make any sense 
whatsoever. That's why you don't want to do it. Let's be real. If I told you here right now, from now on, I'm going to be right there with you. You're going to do exactly everything I do, but I'm invisible. Some of you be like, uh-uh. <laughs> you here, you have the confidence. Amen. Yes. Yes. We go where your friends are. You know the ones you don't tell you come to church? Those ones? Hmm? We go where they are. And then they're not seeing that I'm there. And you're just... No explanation. No, no, you did not brief them beforehand. That, hey, you know, um, occasionally I hear a voice in my head that tells me to go here. Even that alone sounds what? Mm -hmm. So, so they, you're going to start a business with no money. And no education in the field of that business. Yes. Because a guy who is invisible told you. Yes. And you're going to go in a place where there's no market to start this business. Yes. And that guy who is invisible, who no one saw and no one heard, you were there by yourself. He's the one who told you. Hey, actually, man, you're beginning to make sense. Hmm? This is really is crazy. Huh? The place you're sitting in, do you know what happened? Hmm? Pastor Robert used to be up there, underneath the tree. He came and he was praying. He had a sleeping bag in his Bible. This place was a swamp. There was water here. Leaves, dirty, swampy snails, everything. This whole place. And he says, I saw it. I saw this building come out of the ground and God told me to go build that church. He told people, no, ah, because you're sitting here, you're clapping. He told people, do you know what they said? That guy is mad. You leave Kayanja alone, people will die trying to build that thing. It's, that place is a swamp. He's lying to himself. There was no money, nothing to build this entire place. You guys just clapped. But if you remove everything, if I told you that and this place wasn't here, all of you would walk and say, no, 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 no. You? They dropped you when you were young and you landed on your head first. That's the problem. Being a person who focuses on God, who just looks and observes God. Let me be real with you. It looks crazy. And that's why you don't want to do it. Let's be honest. Let's be honest. The difficulty of actually showing that, you know what, I love God, I want to be with God. I'm going to follow God. I'm going to do everything God says. And then you walk out of here and you're like, ha, man, to evangelize people and preach them on the street, wapi. Because you also look at those people like they're crazy and that they're wasting time. Am I lying? Eh? I'm lying. Eh? I'm not? Mm -hmm. You have to understand it does not look normal. Because now, at first, you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how it is with God. We can move. But the moment I removed Sachi, you now started, look, man, Rob, this does look crazy. Do you want to know why families sometimes fight people who God has called? Hmm? Yeah, because the family is not seeing the God who called you. They weren't there. They didn't hear the voice. Everyone would be on board with supporting you if we heard God too. If we felt him, if he showed up. But he didn't speak to everyone. He spoke to you. Your thing is that you don't want to look at him. Even in public. You see, doing this when no one can see me. If you guys aren't here. And I'm just faced this way. And I have to move like this. And do this. And I'm not worried about you. And I'm just looking at God. But when I have to face this way. And I have to follow God. And it's not making sense. Hmm? 
but you're also watching me, laughing at me. You say, Robert, you're crazy. Tell you people, I told you. I to- Kayanja's son is mad. I told you. You didn't hear me. I told you. Now look. That's how you feel. Because there is nobody to prove you otherwise. Because nobody is seeing the God who you're following. They're just seeing you. You know what was funny? There are so many pastors who said that my dad was crazy. So many. They said that you're mad. They said that he's mad, he's crazy, he's not going to do anything, he's not going to build it completely completely the moment this place was built do you know what they said we always believed in your God Kayanja God is with you we knew it and I remember there was a person who came to see my dad and said you know I, I've seen everything you've gone to come I always knew God would be with you and I was with another pastor and they said but this guy is mad we were there when he was Robert he was abusing your dad He was saying he was going crazy. And now look at him. Right now, if you can just forget about those who watch you and you follow God, everything will work out. Everything will work out. Let me give you a simple testimony. Very, very simple. Naxa was there when this happened. My wife was there when this happened. I woke up, I told the team, guys, we're going to go to schools. I told Eric, we're going to go to schools. I told everybody on our team, Sandra, Naxa, everybody, I said, guys, we're going to go to schools. Cool, we're ready to go. People came to me, said, Rob, I know you're going to school, but we need to do it this way because this is how it's, you know, this is how we move. I was saying we're going to go to schools because people had told me before, but God had never told me. So I'm not going to go. Guys, even if all of you came here and you voted that Robert, tomorrow, we're going to have a small crusade on Clock Tower. We've decided you're coming. If God has not told me, you guys will do that crusade by yourself. Not coming, I'm telling you. Whether you stop liking me or not, I won't come. Because God didn't say nothing to me. So when God said go to school, it's like, cool, let's go. People came and started giving advice. Came one by one. And as a pastor, I can't tell you my initial first response to what you're telling me. I have to say, "Mm, amen, okay, Mm, okay, bye. Another one comes, "Mm, okay, bye. Another one comes, "Mm, okay, bye. Another one comes, "Mm, okay, amen, praise God, amen, Mm, bye. What I wanted to tell them is that you weren't there when God called me. You weren't there when he told us what to do. And the last thing I always wanted to tell people, you know the people you're worried about seeing you, looking crazy? Guys, right now, I just want you to stand up. Can you stand up? Stand up real quick. Just look around. Just look around at everybody. Cool. Cool. Looked around. I'm going to give you some very simple advice. It was given to me many years ago, and I want to share it with you. It's very easy advice. Very easy. It's not complicated, guys. In your, in your life, never take advice from people whose life you don't want it to look like. Hear me. The biggest problem is that we listen to people whose life we don't want to replicate. And everyone who was coming to give me advice 
was old, doesn't deal with young people, doesn't know what they're doing. Even now, there, there are people who are like, oh, man, like, we should do this. So I'm like, if God calls you to go, you'll go and you'll do it like that. But that's not what God told me. The reason why everyone is scared is because you believe what people think has power to control where you go. It doesn't. There is zero power. You cannot live your life like everyone else. The reason I asked you to stand up is this. If you're standing up right now, do you want to know what it looks like? Hmm? Everyone raise your right hand. Everyone put your right hand down. Everyone raise your left hand. Everyone put your left hand down. Everyone raise your right hand, put it down, then raise your left hand, put it down. Do it two times. Do it three times. Do it one more time. Do you know what's just happened? Hmm? I've literally just created a uniformed army. They do, all of you are now the same. Clap, clap your hands. Exactly. I don't need you to be unique. Because you're all what? The same. Wave. Do it, you're all the same. You're all the same. Nothing is different. You want to know why? Because you're all doing the same things. Moving the same way. Some of you didn't even stand because I asked you to stand. Some of you stood because there are other people standing. And because of that pressure, you don't want to be left sitting by yourself. So you stood up and you began doing everything else. But you really don't want to. Hmm? Yeah, you're all the same. Take a seat. No, 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 no. You take a seat. No, 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 him. Everyone in this whole section, all of you, I want you to make him feel bad for sitting down. This one, who is this one here? I want you to make him feel bad for sitting down. Yeah, good, Denise, good. Guys, look at me. When you follow Jesus, your life sometimes will look like that. Because you're the only one refusing to look like everyone else. You guys, clap your hands. Clap your hands while you jump. Jump. Ah -ah. Stop. All of you in this section were making him feel bad and telling him, you look stupid. I'm the one watching all of you. He's sitting in a chair, relaxed. You're... They can try and make you feel bad for refusing to join them. But eventually what will happen? Someone will get tired of just standing there and waving their hands. And one of them will say, you know what, I'll... this isn't for me. They'll sit too. Another person will sit too. Huh? 
And another person will sit. And others will sit. Soon, but none of what I just said would have happened if he wasn't sitting down. The same works in the inverse. If one person stands up, another person will stand up. But the thing about standing up is that you actually have to be brave enough to stand up. Because some people don't actually want to stand up. It's more comfortable to sit with everybody else and be the same. Because even those who are standing up don't even know if it's part of my sermon or not. They're just the ones who are saying, you know, I don't care if I'm like everybody else. So they choose to stand up. And then the rest choose to sit. Because they want me to tell them what to do. I am, hear me right now. Right now, all I've done is play the role of the world. I told all of you what to do. And one guy is the one who, made, who I told to sit down. I played the role of the entire world. It's these three people who are like, Aha, all of you have now been identified. They now know all of you. These ones are the only ones who just said, I don't want to be like the rest of them, so I'm going to stand up. I just don't want to. So they're the ones standing. But everyone is sitting down. Well, we got one more, maybe. Maybe. Oh, oh she sat down. I'm not, doing, I want, I'm not doing nothing. I just want to watch this. I want to actually watch this, because this is interesting. My sermon wasn't even meant to go there, but this is interesting. Are you sure? Just pause. I'm going to hit play again, and you guys can continue sorting yourselves. Just pause. Pause for once. Just pause. I have a comment. Like, you know when you want to talk in a movie, but you can't pause it because everyone else is watching? I don't care because I'm the one holding the mic, so I'm going to pause. I'm going to pause for one second. Just have this one thing to say, just one second. Imagine God called all of you, right? And the ones standing are the ones who said yes, and the ones sitting are the ones who said no. You're all in the same place. You're in the same building with the same God and the same anointing. That's the thing right now that has just proven my entire point. All of you who are standing, imagine these people told you to sit. Everybody here has a completely different message. I've heard something different even when I'm preaching. Because some people are like, bro, I don't care, I'm standing. For whatever reason as to why you're standing, it doesn't matter. They chose to stand. And for whatever reason, those who are sitting have chosen to sit. Some are sitting because they stood before and they're tired. No problem. Just take that entire situation and put it spiritually. You waited for your miracle before, so this time you won't wait. You'll just be there. Cool. Don't, don't look at me crazy. I'm saying what, you, what you're doing. Now, Some of you who are standing, you don't even know if you've made the right decision. Some people will sit down. You wait.
pause, 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 pause. Time out, time out, time out. Pause. Jocelyn, I swear, I'm not, I, I saw it right here. If there's a, we didn't play. Jocelyn was like, Rosette, stand up. Rosette was like, wait. I, I swear. Play. Play. Everyone's now watching Rosette and Jocelyn. There are other people. Me, I'm just looking around. Right, he stood up. All right, cool. The ones who are standing deep down, they'd be like, oh, man, I made a mistake. I should have sat because there are people sitting. <laughs> but Darren, Darren stood up. Oh, you, you sat back down. Oh, he said, this is not for me. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. We got another one over there standing up. We got one over there standing up. We just said no. Guys, please, don't be offended. Okay, wait, wait. Time out, okay? Time out. Don't move. Time out. Time out. Don't be offended. Hmm? This is a perfect display of spiritual life. Because I remember what I said before is that even right now the inverse is true. Some people will choose to stand up. Some of you will choose to sit. The inverse is true. If God called you to a place where he asked you to do something and you sat back, because you are watching others or because I didn't say stand up. But in reality, the people who are standing up, even, even when I'm trying to confuse them, they're the ones doing the right thing. How do you think that would display on you? And the ones who are standing, what do you think you will tell God when you get there and he asks you, why didn't you go and get those other people to stand up? Why didn't you minister to them? Why didn't you tell them that this was their time, this was their calling, this is what they were supposed to do? Do you want to know why nobody is doing anything and you're all convinced? Because your focus is totally not here. Pause, 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 No. No, I actually, no, no, no. I actually said the right thing to do is stand up. I legit, I'm not lying to you. Legitimately, some of you are like, nah. Mm-mm. There are people, hey, stand up. No. You want to know why God is not moving in your life? Nah. The same way I just told you. Guys, the right thing to do is stand up. Some of you are like, bro, no, man, I came to chill. What are you talking about, bro? What you saying, man? I came here to relax. I'm relaxed. The chair is nice. I have the perfect position on this chair. It's hard to get comfortable in this chair, Robert. I have the perfect position finally. Now you want me to get up? 
I just told you the right thing to do was stand. And some of you are, like, mm. some of you are still sitting. I'm shocked. No, 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 no. We're on pause. Go back. Go back. No one moves during pause. This is your spiritual life. God calls you and you're like, nah. No, 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 no. Some of you are sitting and you're like, yeah, ha, got you, God. Seriously, I actually thought, guys, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm now learning, it's easier to win people on the streets than it is in church, even when they know they brought themselves. Okay, we're good. Play. Pause, 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 pause. I said play. I told you that the right thing to do was to stand up and some people are still sitting. No, 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 no. Yo, 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 red hat. I caught you. We're on pause. Time out. Yo, I don't play football, but I'll produce a red card. Ready? Play. Pause. 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 You people who are sitting, be an enemy of progress. Why don't you? I'm not going to do any more. Point. I, I'm, I'm almost out of timeouts. Pause. Just pause. Just pause. Pause, 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 pause. I almost got you, but I, I saw you after I said pause. But I, I was about to like, mm, sit. You know what's sad? You know what's sad? Like really, really sad? Are you ready? So imagine if there's a line. And I know it's not going to be like this. This is not a description of heaven I'm giving you, but I just want you to imagine this one moment. There is a line. And at the end of the line, they're telling us you're either going right or you're going left. One side is heaven, one side is hell. Based off of the decision we could have made right now, do you know what would be actually really sad? Is that there are two young girls here at the front who most likely don't really understand what I am saying specifically. They might not understand or comprehend the message to your level. But if we were to call and make a line and the decision were being made at the front, they would see eternity and some of you people who were older would not have. The entire time they stood up, I saw people who deserved to be there who are enough to comprehend the decision. But just because for them, the enjoyment of standing up is better than sitting down, they would have made it. Based off of how they are as children. I want you to take what just happened now as a part of your life. As where you are in your life right now. Because if God calls you and asks you and you remain seated, you remain in place. And one day we're moving in a line, a very simple line. And at the end, you finally discover that they're making decisions. And because all of us used to cheat in class, they've passed it down. Great, man. If you remained seated, you're going left. That's where you go, what? And then the guy who was standing here says, no man, go in front of me, go in front of me. Go in front of me. Man, man, how can I tell them I, I stood up? 
I want to stand up now. It's sad. Because even after I told you, the right thing to do was to stand. Some of you sat. Some of you actually sat. You remained sitting down. You could have stood up. You could have remained standing and just stood but you chose to sit because comfortability was better than inconvenience. The call of God on your life or just coming to Jesus, I'm going to be 100% with you. It can be inconvenient. It cannot be fun. It cannot be enjoyable. It can be frustrating. It can be irritating. People can belittle you and make you feel bad. But let me tell you, to choose to sit here, you will regret it for eternity. 10 years can be long. 30 years can be long. But forever, forever, that's never ending frustration. A life where you made your decision based off of being comfortable is not good. But some of you did it and it took you a long time because we had to come back and explain it and explain it and explain it and explain it. And still some of you still decided to sit because you know what I'm tired Rob. I've been standing. I came here. I just want to sit down. I don't want to stand. Do you understand me? Cool. Because no. Now I have another side for you. Are you ready? If God called you to share the gospel, sharing the gospel looks like what I just did. Time out. Play. Pause. Play. Pause. Play. I had to come back and keep telling you, I told you the right thing to do was to stand up. Play. Pause, 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 pause. pause. I told you the right thing to do was to stand up. Over and over and over and over again. Do you want to know why? Some souls are not in the pits of hell. Some souls are just comfortable. Some souls are not deeply in the world. They're just comfortable where they're sitting. They don't want to be disrupted. So you have to keep going back. You've got to keep going back. And you've got to keep going back. You got to put time out, and you got to press play and watch and see. Okay, well, I'm going back again today, and I'm going back again today, and I'm going back again today. What I've just shared with you are the two things why it's so important to focus on God. but also to make a decision, to make a decision genuinely that you know what? Robert, I actually want to follow Jesus. I don't want to be comfortable. I don't want to remain sitting. I actually want to follow Jesus. If you could help me, I, I, I actually do. Because this is not the test of life. You may have failed this test. This, this wasn't the test of life. This wasn't serious. You may have failed this one, but you can make and pass the one in heaven very easily. Very easily. So, I have a very simple question. If you want to follow Jesus, if you've never given your life to Jesus, If you've never experienced Jesus in your life, if you don't know what it's like to be saved, or maybe you were saved but you've been so far away from him, 
So many things have happened. You've done so many things and you want to give your life to him. I would want to invite you to come just here. Just here. If you're worried about what people will think, I'll tell you it does not matter what they think. It really doesn't matter what they think. This is about you and the rest of your life, not about other people. You shouldn't be ashamed. You shouldn't be scared. You shouldn't be embarrassed. Because this is the best decision you'll ever make. And you only have to make it once. You only got to make it once. I used to be so scared of what people used to think. So scared of what people used to think. It was one of the reasons I didn't want to preach. I was just so scared, like, why would I do this? Why would this matter? And then eventually just dawned on me that the only thing that matters is God. So you shouldn't. If you're still there and you're thinking I was going to close it, no, I'm not. If you want to give your life to Jesus, wherever you are, please. You don't want to look back and say, I wish I got this chance. Rob, I wish I took this chance. You don't want to look back and say, I missed it. You don't want to do that. If you're watching online, you're watching in the top chat and you want to give your life to Jesus, we have modulators in the top chat. Write your name, write your information, or scan the QR code at the bottom. Go to our website, go to our social media handles, and we'll be there to help you and assist you. But if you want to give your life to Jesus, don't ever be ashamed. Don't ever be scared and don't ever wait. You never ever want to lose a chance to say, hey, I follow you. Jesus, I love you. You guys would do me very simple, simple task if you could place your hand over your heart. And repeat after me. Jesus, I give you my life. I give you my heart. I give you my soul, I give you my body. Write my, name in the, write my name in the book of life. Guide me. I believe you died for me. And I believe you rose again. I love you. I will follow you. Only you. I'm not perfect. But Jesus, I know you're perfect. Amen. So, guys, this is the best decision you could ever make. Believe me when I tell you it's the best decision you'll ever make. And the thing about this decision, you don't have to do it alone. You never have to do this alone. You're amongst a family now, a community now, and we love you. We want to go through this journey of life with you. So there's a lady over there. Her name's Rosette. I want you to go with her. She's going to talk to you about a few things, get you set on life and help you with everything that's going on. If you can just follow her, it's going to be a blessing to you. Let's stand up. Before we dismiss, um, we want to pray over our tithes and offerings. 
you have them. I want to pray over them. Father, we thank you for your faithful. Increase givers, bless them. For those that don't have, Father, provide for them. People have needs, people have wants. People need you, Jesus. So meet them, bless them and touch them, provide for them. Those who are here on behalf of their families, Father, provide for them. Encourage them, touch them, increase them, bless them, and anoint them. In the name of Jesus, amen. You may go ahead and give. And I also want to pray. For if you came in here believing for a miracle if you came here and you, you, you need a miracle you might be sick you might need healing in your body you might have a relative who is sick you might have friends who need a miracle you yourself might need any kind of help things are not working things haven't been working things have been difficult your life has been stalled but you need God to do something in your life and you've tried everything you've really tried everything and everything has failed. You don't know what's wrong. If you can, I'll, I want you to come down here. is something you cannot explain many times we've tried to explain miracles or we want a plan given to us on what God will do a lot of things don't make sense even when it looks like God is using you something can happen in your life that you feel like is crushing you it's the exact opposite of what God has said of what people have told you will be the exact opposite has happened it doesn't feel that way it doesn't even sound like that sometimes. but if I could give you a list of all the miracles that we've witnessed not just in our youth ministry but in this whole ministry as a whole not even 0.1 percent of them is just here all these crutches everything God does miracles God is still in the business of doing miracles He never stopped and he never will. He has never failed people then and he won't fail people now. You don't serve a thing we talk about. The God you serve is real. And I know most times, even when you come here, there's the thing you kind of want, you know, you, you would share if we gave you the mic, but there's the thing inside you 
that one thing you, you, you can't even, you want God, God help me. Because you can't share it with anybody else. You want God to do something for you. You want him to touch you. You want him to bless your life. Today, that's the miracle he's going to do. That's the thing he's going to touch. Holy Spirit, we thank you. Father, we all have needs. We all have requests. We all have prayers. But Father, today hear your people. Hear your children. Father, we didn't come for entertainment. We came for you. We came to spend time in your presence. Some of them here, your presence is the only thing they have. Some of them, they just need you to touch them, to heal them, whatever sickness and disease is in this place whatever bondage is here Father move you're the only one Jesus, you're the only one. You're the only one. The only one. You're faithful. You're faithful. You're awesome. You're a mighty God. Touch your people. Heal their diseases. Heal their sicknesses. Heal their pain. Meet their needs. them heavenly father for you are all we have you are all we know 
You are the only one we can run to. You're the only one who can help. We've reached the end of our road. We've reached the end of our understanding. But you, you are faithful. You are good. You're full of love. And Father, we worship you. We worship you. Come and heal your people. Come and touch your people. Don't pass us by. Don't pass us by. Because they need you, Jesus. They need you, Holy Spirit. They need you, Savior. They need you. You're in this place, Holy Spirit. 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 You're fixing everything that needs fixing. You're touching those that need touching. You're healing us. You're healing those who need you. thank you heavenly father we thank you we thank you we thank you Jesus no sickness no disease no sickness no disease no sickness no disease No sickness, no disease. All sicknesses, all tumors, all blood diseases, all demons holding people back, crippling people, breaking people. Keeping them in bondage. I command you to leave. I command you to leave and never come back. I command you to go and never come back. Holy Spirit rest on your people rest on them fall on their shoulders fall on their shoulders fall on their shoulders rest on them touch their lives and change their lives oh Jesus we thank you thank you for your blood we thank you for your blood we thank you for your blood Jesus we thank you for your blood Jesus we thank you for your blood Jesus we thank you we thank you heal us and touch us Every person here who came here for a miracle, Holy Spirit, pass them, touch them, invade their soul. Jesus, 
Jesus, I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for your here and you're touching your people. You're touching your people. You're touching your people. You're touching your people.
Jesus.
Their national ID. If you called Sally Michael, please see me for your ID, okay? Or I'll put, I'll give it to any one of the Dream Team members. The rest of us, please go grab something to eat. Don't forget, on the fourth, we're gonna be here. Next week, we are here. Don't forget to tune in if you're online. Pastor Rob is going to be in Kenya. We are gonna be here still, joining him in Kenya as well. So please make sure you do not miss out. Hallelujah. Amen. May God bless you.
let's share this. Dad took the mic, other mic, so let's just share it. Hello, hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining service. We know and hope that you have been blessed. I know that I was blessed with that, with that sermon and that, that experience. I'm just honored. I'm honored to serve in this house. I'm honored to be under Pastor Robert and Jessica Kayanja and that they let us do this. Um, something that I'm sure you were seeing on the screen, Pastor Robert Jr. is going to be in Kenya next week attending the International Youth Conference theme, Catalyzing Destiny. So I'm sure we are, going, we are actually going to be live on all of Pastor Robert uh, Jr.'s social media platforms. Please tune in because I know, I know, I know that you are going to be blessed. There's also going to be amazing, some amazing other speakers there. Uh, President um, Ruto's daughter, Charlene Ruto, will also be there amongst another, all the other amazing speakers. So please, please, please tune in, engage with us while we are in Kenya. We, you don't want to miss it. On top of that, we have so many amazing programs coming up. So many amazing programs that you do not want to miss. I promise we've been, we've been planning. We have been planning. Um, May 4th, we have a meet and greet. A meet and greet with the entire team. The entire team will be outside. We're going to have fun. We're going to have games. We're going to have music. The entire team will be there. The entire, including myself and Pastor Robert Jr. So you do not want to miss it. What else do we have coming up? We have um, 
the week following after that is going to be Riot Fest. So that is going to be a blessing. You don't want to miss that at all. And you are going to have a ton of fun. It's going to be a phenomenal, phenomenal experience here. And we can't wait to have you. It's going to be great. Everything we're doing this month of May is completely free. Everything we always do at Miracle Center here on our campus and all our meetings that we have is free. So we want you here May 4th. We want you here on May 11th for Riot Fest. And then the following week is Riot Worship's Worship Night. And it is going to be a blessing to you. You don't have to come by yourself. Come with your kids. Come with other family members. Invite friends. It's going to be powerful. Our pastors, Robin and Jessica Kayanji, are going to be a part of the night. You don't want to miss anything. Um, believe me when I tell you, you don't want to miss this. It's going to be a blessing to you. It will not be broadcasted live as this will be a live recording. And we want you to be a part of it. And if you do want to come be a part of it, please come. It's going to be amazing. And God is going to move in a powerful way. The last week we have a really, really, really great time. A really, really powerful time. And that will be back to school anointing service on the 25th of May. It starts at 12 p.m. at midday. We are going to be here. Our entire family is going to be a part of this. We're all going to be here, and it's going to be amazing. It's going to be powerful. We're going to be anointing you. And if you've never been baptized, we're going to be baptizing you. So that's going to be a phenomenal time. And can I just say, baptisms. I was honored to be baptized during Riot this last time. And I can tell you this. After being baptized, my life hasn't been the same. It almost feels like an elevation. And I promise you, if you've been waiting, if you've been waiting to be baptized, if you maybe have felt shame because you haven't been baptized, I promise you it's the best decision that you can make because we are here for you. We are cheering you on and we would be so honored and so thrilled to be given the opportunity to baptize you because we know, we know, we know, we know that you will not remain the same after being baptized. So please, please come out to all of these amazing events. We know school is out. There will be a little bit of a holiday for you out, 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 out outside of school so please 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 come out bring a friend bring a whole group of people and we know you're going to have an amazing and amazing time so, whatever's going on whatever you're doing may is completely free and it's going to be here at miracle center at robert county ministries and with us at right youth we absolutely love you and we cannot wait to experience this coming month with you and God's going to be amazing. We can't wait to see you, Kenya. We know God is going to move in such a powerful way, in such a powerful way. But we're so thankful for everything we get to do. Going to schools has been amazing. Last, this, yesterday, literally yesterday in the morning, we were at Chitante and it was absolutely incredible. God moved in a powerful way. Kids' lives were changed and touched, as you can see before you. out to you. Pastor Nash will reach out to you and everybody on our team and it will be absolutely incredible. We are filling up the schedule for for schools starting next term. So hey, if you want to get involved, just sign up right there. It will be absolutely incredible. But we love you guys. If you want to give, we can't do any of this on our own. So how you're giving, how you're supporting our team is one of the best ways to do so. The number is on the screen. And it is amazing. We're just going to highlight you with all the schools we've been through, been to, and that is because of your giving, because of your support. Even right now, Pastor Robert has just finished a crusade, and it has been absolutely impactful. We don't do this alone. It's because of your love, your support, your willingness to release us, but also your willingness to support the Word of God. Many, many years ago, a powerful man of God used to say, the gospel of Jesus Christ is free. His love is free, but the means to carry it around the world are not. So we need your help carrying the gospel within our own country, within our own cities. And we know that God, that Jesus Christ will move in a powerful, powerful, mighty way.
We're so thankful for you. We want you to have a blessed night. I want to pray for those who are going to give. Father, we thank you. Father, we know that you're faithful. We know that you're powerful. You do miracle signs and wonders. Those of you who are giving right now, those who are giving to your call, giving to your work, Jesus, may they be blessed. May you multiply what's on their life. Touch what's on their life. And Father, increase them in a mighty way. For Jesus, you are faithful. For Jesus, you are strong. And we love you. Those who need healing, who are watching us on TV, Father, heal them touch them bless them in the name of jesus you are faithful jesus you are faithful jesus you are faithful father we command diseases to break we command depression to leave sicknesses to go and we know that you will be blessed and healed in the name of jesus amen we love you we can't wait to see you tomorrow during our service it's going to be a blessing to you come join us in person or tune or tune in online and we know that God will touch you and God will bless you. We love you so much. Have a blessed evening. We're going to leave you with all the incredible things that have been happening in schools and riot worship. And if you want to give, everything is going to stay on screen. But we love you so much. We're so thankful. We don't do this alone. We do this with you. So thank you so much. Have a blessed evening and a blessed night. In the name of Jesus, amen. Bye-bye. We love you guys. We love you. When I'm lost in you, I find my true identity and find myself. Except if you're sick. Except if you're lying down, you're crippled. Let the rest of us stand. Let me ask again. How many of you want to receive Jesus as your Savior? Raise up your hand. These words after me. Oh Lord. My God. Today. I ask you become my savior make me a new creation heal me lord have mercy i confess to that i'm a sinner lord i've sinned against heaven and earth but you are my god you created me and breathed in me you know me better than every salvation to have mercy Jesus, son of David, 
mercy on me for make me Today I give you my life. Today I believe you. Today heal me. Oh Lord. Cleanse me with your blood. Purify me. Forgive me of all my sins. In creation. Write my name. In the book of life. Satan, I renounce you. Witchcraft, I renounce you. I renounce you. I renounce you. I renounce you. All you evil spirits, I renounce you. All you spirits, I renounce you. I am born again today. Bible tells me. No, I have no condemnation if I'm in Christ. The condemnation is gone. The curses are gone. Diseases are gone. Problems are gone. I am saved today. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Say thank you, Jesus, three times. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Raise your hands and clap for God. Now listen. Your name is written in the book of life. All your sins are forgiven you. Raise up your hands and laugh at the devil. Put your hands down. Heaven have accepted that you are a child of God. When they are counting the people in the census and they ask you your religion of faith, tell them I'm born again. I am born again. Jesus is in me. I have life for God. Now, even your name has been erased from the book of death. It has been written in the book of life. Not only that, you've been deleted from the list of the poor. You've been registered on the list of the rich in Uganda. Your name has been deleted from the list of curses. It has been written in the book of the blessed. You've been written in a book. Of those who are returning home with miracles today. How many of you here? Let all get a man to power How many of you here? You're tired of bad dreams. This time you're going to dream when you're flying. How many of you here? You're tired of a single life. This year you're going to marry. This year you're going to get married. Tell your neighbor. Look at me closely. I may make you my flower girl. Or my bridal car driver. How is this? Today you're gonna be healed. 
How many of you here are of being despised? Whoever How many of you did not have work to do? Raise your hands. Say, Lord, give me the so that I may become a wealthy again. Create wealthy Jesus. How many of you need a miracle of healing? Put your hands down. How many of you here? One of your ears is deaf. Raise up your hand. Raise up your hand. Or both of your ears. Or one ear. If you're with a person who is deaf, Tell them to put their finger in the deaf ear. After we pray, if you're near that person, you check them. You check them if they are hearing. If they are able to hear, you rush them here. How many of you, you have a person who is dumb and deaf? Tell them to put a finger in the ear. Put the small finger under the tongue. After we pray, give them words to speak. Once they start to speak, rush them this side. How many of you, you have a blind eye or both eyes? Are blind? Have blind eyes. Touch the blind eyes. Especially the blind eye. How many of you have tumors here? Whether in your breast or fibroids or tumors on your body. Touch where the tumor is. How many of you here? Your legs are crippled. Scratches. Whether you're in a wheelchair. Raise up your hands. Raise up your hands. Touch the lame legs. Touch your legs. If you're here, you have somebody who is insane or mad. You have HIV. You have a blood disease. You have cancer. You have epilepsy. You have fever. You have every kind of disease. Put your hands on your head. Demons have started living. No matter if you're bewitched. Nightmares. You dream the dead. All the demons are going to leave you in Jesus' name. All the demons around you bound you, that tormented you, all of them are living today, all of them are living today, all of them are living today, the first pray for you, then I have he's going to meet you where you are, nobody we are in a moment when God is moving in our midst. Oh Lord, Katonda my God. I have preached to these people the words of the kingdom. The gospel of our Lord Jesus. You told them that Jesus is your son. And you sent And he came to save us. These people have suffered with diseases. People have suffered with troubles. These people have suffered with demons. They have suffered with dumbness. With poverty. With muteness. With Bitegan Mayembe. They have suffered with diseases. They have suffered with curses. 
Lord, they have suffered. But you sent your son Jesus to save us, to heal us. My Lord, they believe. They believe Jesus as your son. Now, Lord, bring your presence. Let Jesus move amongst them with his unspeakable power, with your great presence. Touch them today. Heal them today. Let him deliver them today. Let him take away their diseases. Demons of lameness. You demon of deafness. You demon of blindness. You demons of madness. That epilepsy. Be taken my Demons. Leave these people today. Leave these people. In the name of Jesus. Move away and leave them in Jesus' name. Leave them, leave them completely in the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Leave these people. Leave and go. Leave their lives. Leave their legs. Leave their eyes. Leave their ears. You have no authority to be. Jesus Christ defeated. Christ defeated. Live and go in Jesus' name. Never, never move in their lives again. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Pack your bags and go. Live their lives. Live their ears. Hear my voice. I'm a servant of the Lord. I today in this meeting. And you demon, foul demon. I command you to leave. Foul demons. I command you to leave. You misambwa. Leave. You lubare. Leave. You leave. 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 Leave them. Leave them. Pack your bags and leave. Ancestral curses. Demons are inherited. Pack your bags and leave. Leave their eyes. Leave their legs. Leave their joints. Leave their eyes. Jesus is driving you away. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. And again. Oh Lord. And heal them today. Upon them and glory. This very hour. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Broken ribs be fixed. Fixed. May the legs get found. Broken bags be fixed. Satan live and go. Demons live and go. Lord, demons are gone. Fall upon them and cover them with your word. Confirm the gospel we preach with signs and miracles. Fall upon the damned to speak. Fall upon the deaf to hear. Let the people of Namayimba know that you and you saved them and it's you visited them oh good lord glorify your son Jesus power. you gave us your power living. all evil spirits are living you evil spirits live you demons live evil powers live in the name of Jesus of Nazareth Say, oh Lord, I mukama. Oh Lord, my God, my Lord, you are powerful. You have authority. You have delivered me today. Feel your word. I feel your spirit in my joints, in my, in my body. Living. Blindness is gone. Deafness is gone. You heal me today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Lord. Thank you, my God. Abound. No longer sick. Jesus. Jesus. You heal me today. Leave me. Leave me. Vaco. Yes, Jesus is with me. Yes, Jesus is with me. Yes, Jesus heals me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Call the name of Jesus twenty one times.
Lord, Mokama will lead Abantu. Hear your people. Will lead Abantu. Hear your people. Will lead Abantu. They are crying out to you. Makuka will lead. They are calling on to you. Makuko will lead. Hear your people. Will lead Abantu. Mokama. Heal your people. Will lead Abantu. Mokama. Let your healing power. Let Kamani Gaga. The people in the name of Jesus. I command the blind to see. I command the deaf to hear. By the authority that given to me by Jesus, and by the power that raised him from the dead, in Jesus' name, Gamba I am come. Say, O Lord, you have healed me today. I am no longer bound. Say, O Lord, my God. I feel your power. I feel your spirit. Thank you for delivering me. I believe that I'm healed. I'm set free. I am blessed in the name of Jesus. Jesus is here. Jesus is moving in the midst. The spirit is here. His power is here. I command you in Jesus' name be healed of your diseases. If you are lame, raise up your crutches and start walking. Jesus has healed you. Rise up from the ground. Lift up your crutches. Start walking towards this side. In the name of Jesus, lift up your sticks. Start walking. Don't remain in one place. Do what you could not do before. Somebody's walking there. Somebody's walking there. The one who's been blind, open your eyes and see. If you are deaf, hear. In the name of Jesus. If Lift up your sticks. Walk and come this side. Go this side in Jesus' name. Walk and come this side. Walk and come this side. You came on a mattress. Lift up the mattress. He's walking. Say, well, walk. Yes, Jesus has healed you. Yes, Jesus has healed you. Walk towards that side. Move towards that side. In the name of Jesus. Love Jesus. Move in the name of Jesus. You came unable to walk. You came dumb. Let your ears hear. You came with a blind eye. In the name of Jesus. Sound man, fix the monitor. Walk around, walk around. The people walk around there. In the name of Jesus of Nazareth. Walk. Someone else is walking. Lift up your wheelchair. Jesus has healed you. Jesus has set. Jesus has already healed you. Do what you could not do before. Open your eyes. You can see. Let your ears hear. You can hear. Walk. Create room. Let her walk with a stick. Clap your eyes. Let people move. Let people move there. Let people move from there. Open a way for people to move. Make a way for people to move. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. Check where your tumors were. Where your lameness. David was going. Sumba down the church again a mass. Check where your legs have been hurt. Check where your bones. Check where the pain was. Do what you could not do before. Do what you could not do before. Clap your hands for Jesus. Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth is here. Clap your hands for Jesus. Allow people to use that route. There's special. Church again a mass. What is going on? Church. In the name of Jesus. Church again a mass. 
Clap your hands for Jesus. Where your tumor was. No, yet you see much of a chip. Look for where your tumor was. Where Cabaret or Abe? Check yourself. On one of the Tabulida, if you more Cabaret or Abe, check them. Molina, yes, the name of Jesus. Mama Tambula, Mama Walk. Yes, Swakuanya. Yes, Swakuanya. Jesus has healed you. Swakuanya has healed you. No, Mama. Mama, come. Molina, yes, the name of Jesus. Molina, yes, in the name of Jesus. Mama, Mama, that is all you. How are you? What happened? Involved in Jesus, Glory to Put Mama down. Let her continue walk. Yes, Pastor David, what's happening? This is seven in past one year. Accident. He could not walk. The power of God. What happened to you? What happened to you? Pastor started praying. God fire in his life. Realized he could walk without. He lifted the stick. Glory and praise. Jesus Christ. The Jesus of Amen. How long have you? For one year, walk around, walk around. Clap your hands for Jesus. Five years. Five years. Five years. Five years. Somebody clap your hands for oh, you are great. You do me you so great. Five years. Never walked before. This is our first time. To walk. Clap your hands for Jesus. You do me recall so great. Yes, yes, She's a neighbor. You are a neighbor. Who is she? She's called Malaika. They are from Kachiri Rubunga. She was walking. moving. That's how she was moving. Anybody knows? They came from Luunga. knows that one. You know. Come, come, come. Oh, Jesus. Oh, you are great. You do me. You're so great. Bring her. Your hands for Jesus. Your life is going to start moving. You know the girl? Stand here. You know her. They know her. That is a neighbor. She's a neighbor. That. Like that. 
So this is the first time. Kwe murundi ogusose. Yani ye malaika. 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 Angu. Kam. Malaika. Angel. Five years. Emiake tano. Bambi she's crying. Amaziga. Tachikiriza. She can't believe it. Tachikiriza. Jesus is in Namayumba. Jesus is here. Yes, Wariwano. My God, my God. Katonda wan. Look at those people dancing. Are they are dancing. Those are mama. I think the mama is going to be shocked. Are they are going to be shocked. My God, my God. Hey, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Sit in my chair. Now you're going to walk up. You can help us sit there. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Now we are literally. You too. Jesus is here. Yes, are you? God, Pastor David. Pastor, this is uh, this 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 child. Oh, man, no, no. Since he was born, oh, he had a hernia ania. for two years. He's two years old. Ay, name, After prayer, oh, the hernia has disappeared. Somebody clap your hands. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. Is this a is the mother? Mama, mama. What happened to your son? She was born with. He was born with. Him. He was due to Young as a microphone is in a monitor. He checked the. She checked the boy and he had no ania. Somebody, hands to Jesus. For you are great. You do me so great two years with honey it is gone somebody shout hallelujah yes tajulu kuka tajulu kuka tajulu kuka Yesu Christo Tajulu Kuka Tajulu Kuka Emire Mbeji Alleluia 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 Oh Alleluia 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 In your home, they are leaving. Leave the monitor. Torment the cargo. Leave her home. Get leave. Yesu Christo Tajulu Kuka Tajulu Kuka Tajulu Kuka Yesu Christo Tajulu Aboruganda Brothers and sisters You are wondering what's happening Mwe unyechike na maso I'm in the presence of Terimu zimu gugenda kusigala No demon will remain in your my God, my God. Pastor David. Pastor, this is Sauda. Naguja from Zimbabwe. She heard that there is a crusade. She is being to walk. She had something on her side. And because she could not walk, she fell in the door. She has 
to a lake. But after prayer, oh my God. She is ready to give her life to Jesus. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Sauda. She came from Sembabule. Eh. She had the no Zikuse. No ja. she, the aunt yes. What was your problem? She was freaking her. She could not walk. She, that leg, she fell. For five months, she was in that condition. That's the thing you've been using. Yeah. That is what she's been using. Put it on your shoulder. No. Sauda, move. March in the name of Jesus. Come back. Clap your ass. Go back, Sauda. You said you want to get saved. She's living with Jesus today. Yes. Yes. Yes, Mulocco Ziwang, yes, Mulocco Ziwang, Amina, Katino to Zini de Muano, that's for us, that's for us. Katonda is okay, on Sauda. Sauda. Carry your stick. Move and go. Yes, Pastor Dad. Pastor, this is not real. Oh no, 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 yeah. In that way, so she has running from spiritual husband. Her legs were bound. She could not tumble abrunji. But after prayer. God has God the demons have left. No reality. No reality. Now what? She's ready to give. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Come on now. Tell me. Tell me. You, yes. you said you pray for the saved and those who are not saved. She came to be prayed for. What happened to you? Even Raise up your hands. Touch your head. Number I yes. On Sumulule. Nkoyo. Eramu imizimu. Ama jini. Daimoni. Ebitega. Ama chwezi. Luba. Mfako. Todanga na tomu nudo kukubili. This woman attacking her, sexually molesting, attacking other people, drive them out in Jesus' name, loose them, loose this lady in Jesus' name, woman in Jesus' name, leave in Jesus' name. Your legs, no. thank you, Jesus, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody clap your hands for Jesus. He has been bedridden. 
The doctors were here saw him. After praying, he has been able to rise up by the power of the Holy Spirit. My God, God is able to rise up by the power of the Holy Spirit. My God, God is able to rise up by the power of the Holy Spirit. My God, God is able to rise up by the power of the Holy Spirit. My God, what kind of cancer do you have? Cancer, chia kuruma. Stomach cancer. Owo murubuto. Stomach cancer. Owo murubuto. You've been lying down. Kala mi dewansi wali. They keep carrying me here. When you were young, they told you that they were more like that. Yes. I couldn't see what they tell me. They do a lot of things. But now I'm here. Nekat. Wadembe, Wadembe Dara, Jesus. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Praise Jesus. You are awesome in this place. You are worthy of all praise. To our lives we praise. Mighty. You are awesome. Praise. Mighty God. You can't. You to die at the root. We can't and could have given up to Leave the life of this young man. You are worthy of a praise. To you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this. This place. is Juliana. Oh no, Juliana. She has been deaf in her right ear. Oh, kutu kwa dio kwa dite kuli. After prayer, her ear popped. Okwe good day. She can now hear. Kati auli da. By the power of the. Mama. Mama. She said she could say. What happened to you? Bate si uli da burundi. She could not hear well. Even if somebody spoke, things were moving in her legs. She feels. Kutucho kubade kuta ulira. With kare ziba kuno kubade kuulira. Kuzivide dala, kuzivide. Block it, block it. Odemu biyenjogera. Yes. Yes. Mukama. Mukama. Webali. Webali. Mpulira. Mpulira. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Ubira Yesu Mongaro. Mara Boshete Dere Boshete. Yes, Pastor David. Pastor, she had a defect on her right eye. Abade no busi mukuli se ya dio. For the last eight years. Mia kamuna ne jaita. Okutu. The ear. This one and the ear and the eye. Okutu ne riso. What was the eye? What was the problem of the eye? Riso. Ngatala ba TV. Time comes when she can treat. For eight years. She's been. They told her to go to Mengo Hospital. She was due. I told her to. Problem affected the ear. The eardrum is always buzzing. What did you feel? What did you feel? Nzize ngampuli ya pe inili ne isobo tu kambi inili Alex, watch to meet her, not Jawan. Call him. Alex, sing a bit and no come here. Muyite, muyite. Call him, call him. Come, he's there. Alex, sing a bit and no pastor is calling you.
Somebody clap your hands. Kubira Yesu. For him, make room for him. You are worthy of all praise. To you I lie. Hey, where Alex? You are Alex. No. Is this your wife? Yes, sir. What was the problem? She's a teacher who teaches in the Kabuko. He's at Busunju Mika. He called her to come for the crusade. Then she met him here. When she came, she couldn't look in the light. They were sitting. She said, let's go in a dark place for a long time the eye had when you started praying my eyes healed I can may God bless your family bless your marriage and promote you in Jesus name somebody say amen hallelujah Pastor David, pastor for three months. She's been hit. She's been hit by high blood pressure. She could not walk without the she also had a pain in the breast. After prayer, strength came upon her. She rose up and she's now walking without the help of the in Jesus' name. Mama, how are you? You were struck by pressure. Pressure, yes. Yakuba. Eh. So you could not. Can you walk over here? Walk over here. Walk over here. You are worthy of a praise. To you, our lives we praise. You are awesome in this place. My Somebody, yes, the power of God has touched the tumor is gone. Mama, on a man, Amen. They thought she was pregnant. But on the stomach has disappeared. How big was it? It was like a baby bump of three months. There is Somebody clap your hands at you. She got pregnant. How big was your stomach? Move it over, ma'am. Boasa. We never come with some people. Congregation. How many of you know girl? You came with them. You know them. Knows the girl. That's what she's been. Come, come. You see a miracle. Like this, you can't believe. You see that. There's nothing. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus.
How seven months pregnant? She knows how she had a swollen stomach. She had a swollen stomach. They would think she got pregnant. They chased her from home. It was big. Even the umbilical cord was protected. See it. Jesus. Yes. Some your hands. Ubida yesu mungale zamani. In Jesus, a powerful hand. Lillian. Lillian. Mom. Mama. Take a picture and send it to the people. They will see her. Yeah, on the same village. There's Upper Buasanda Buasa by the roadside. So they will be able to see her. What will they say? I, they, may, they may think he formed an abortion. God has worked. Uh, clap your hands to Jesus. You may be seen. Yes. the one who Somebody clap to Jesus. How many of you know this? You know Roger? He knows him. <laughs> totally deaf. Samba Yes, we Oh Lord, I am Okama. Oh Lord, when I am awesome, Hans Cedar Wax and Roger. 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 Yes. Amen. Amen. Seven. Ten. <laughs> then sings my soul, my Savior God to thee. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. Yesu Mongaro. Now listen. What it is that?
God is awesome. Osa. Jesus. Yes. You came with him. Now you have a work. Teach him the language. Teach him the words. The reason why in song they can't hear. Speak language. You can pick. Sorry, you go to school. Now he can hear. Somebody, oh, he was a your pastor, your you pastor. so find out and help his business. Come back. Yeah. She could not sing. Eight years. So, the testimony on TV. And they. Go Are you the one who came with? Me? He, he, what was the problem with her? For the blind. Musambu, Mam, Mama. I have your medical reports. Pick them up. Sanyo say, very happy. He's very happy. He's able to see now. So the kiss, Pastor, come here. Pastor, now what would you listen to TV? He testified on TV for what God has done three years in his life. For a long time, they've been coming to my colleague. He said it seems things He's 
Uh, but now, it's what he's able to see. Where do you live? In Chanona. Mujie. Omomani. Come here. <laughs> Mama. Mama ya neri nyari. Nachi kuzi. Kuzi. Kale ngobon kwa ate. Ngobon kwa. You know, mom, you know, she knows her. They went to Chanuna. She met her. They had to support her by the Just looking for her. wondered if she saw her, she was very yeah. Mama Mumani. You know Mama Mumani. He knows he Sometimes he's he's grateful to get money Your hands to swing up. I met Musum. I saw past and bad days. Is it Gan or Rumbo Runkuba? Prayers. In, amen. Amen. Mama, go. Let me ask you. Let me ask you, Mama. Have you seen the medical? Somebody. She went blind six months. She, went, she has not been. They brought her here to. Namuju, Tunurida, Jangon Quateco, Jangon Quateco, Check.
You know, there is a spirit that bothers this God. And then it leaves. What is a father? She didn't come with a father. He's home. He abandoned the children with a mother. She's How raised you. So go. Open this permanently. Leave her alone. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. I give you praise. I see. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we are white cloth. Kazinda, thank you, Jesus. Six months, six started. Okay.
kwanje ao eh waliwo mkwacha a healing has yes olivia has been with death why would the dad go children are here one they know kimbera afanyoloksa pakati kamba death yes your children are one of Children, Katiavasa to be value one. Congregation leader, you will something at all. In decide. Your children are here. My God, they are the extreme end. Turn and look. Loose Mute and not come back again. You empowers the chica. You spirits of the family. Leave this woman. Gender. Go, Ganda, leave, Ganda, leave, leave, leave. leave. You are holy. See today. You are worthy. What a call of the glory. Jesus, you alone. You alone are holy. You alone are worthy. You deserve the glory. Jesus, you alone. You family spirit, leave her. You alone are holy. You alone are worthy. You have the glory. Lift your hand and say, Jesus. He is my man. He is my man. He is my man. He is my man. He has been blind. What was wrong? When he was Blink, blink. Break. Slowly. Hey, Kato.
Yesu. David, put your microphone. Look that way. Jesus is the Son of God. Yes. He went to the river and baptized him. I don't know who gave you the name. So tomorrow at 9 a.m. Kusubi Garden. Kusubi Garden. All of you who have got saved. Those who have never been baptized. How many of you here? You've never been baptized. Where is Subi Gardens? You know where it is. Come with changing clothes that will be baptized. Meeting venue will be here at the crusade at 9 a.m. tomorrow. We'll take you for baptism. You'll be filled with the Spirit. You'll be lift your hand. And bless them. Put your hand. Heavenly Father. In the name of Jesus. He's given my name. Jesus. Yes. When he can Raise up your hand. Come on so God. Oh, to visit you. You more. Drive you no looking at a miracle on you. Before what on the corner go. Come on. Come on. The Father, the Son, and the Holy God. Get up. What is in your hands? Last. Thank you, Jesus. We believe yes. Get up. What is in your hands? Taka. Touch the ground in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Get up. What is in your hands? Dust. Taka. Dust. Put it. In your hands. Here the dust. In your hands. God has given you to. Amen. Raise your hands. Jesus. Close your eyes. Jesus, visit me. You bless me to my life again. You are my God. You are my life. Today. Thank you. Father Lord, we thank you for tonight. In the way for us, Lord. Thank you for visiting us, oh God. Thank you for visiting us.